Sorry, the conclusion. Even though I offer all of the solutions, I wish you loved me like I love you. It's stupid. When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid. I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid. I wish when I first saw you, I knew this. When I'm with you, I feel so useless. I feel diluted. My heart's been wounded. Silhouettes of you are like a dawn. Never really know just what you want. With you, I don't ever feel calm. I can feel the sweat inside my palm. Play with me like cats in a string. You don't understand the pain I bring. You don't ever wanna give me wings. You don't ever wanna set me free. But if I lay down and I play dead and I stay dead, baby.
<laughs> Hello everyone, try that again. Had the mute button on. <laughs> My friend knows. I like this little groove. Need to play this song more. Transport Fever 2. Coming at you. Right. Try and do this for a second. Good song, I like that one. Anyway, hello friendos. Transport Fever 2 we've got going on today. Hello Zero, hello Centaur, hello Wither Productions. Hello Lurkers, and I'm sure that more will join as we go. People are finishing work, late, doing, eating dinner, all that sort of jazz, hoo-ha, and uh, everything going on. Thank you to those who joined me for some multi-stream testing um, yesterday, or well, I guess during the day, the morning for you guys. Hello, Amy. How are you, friendo? You're not lurking, Johnny. Johnny's lurking, but you're going to dinner. What's for dinner tonight, Johnny? Um, this evening, I'm going to be doing some more testing uh, for multi-stream stuff. I've got to test systems like um, uh, the stream chat so I can get um, basically the two chats between Twitch and YouTube talking together. So I've got to test that sort of stuff. I'm also going to do some more um, resolution testing as well. So if you're around and you want to come and join me, by all means, come and join me. It will be a little bit disjointed trying to test a few systems and have a bit of a chat and a laugh while we do it. Um, going forward, YouTube's going to stay the same. We're going to be doing these evening streams all throughout the week. Nothing's going to change on YouTube. Just I'm going to increase the amount of streaming we're going to do. Uh, and I'm going to be streaming from evening my time, morning your time basically uh and incorporating twitch into that e into that morning stream for you all so uh, you're not sure what's for dinner but it smells great oh i love food right enough chat of that let me tell you about transport fever 2 and what happened when i um when i got in yesterday because i jumped in to do a bit of playing because i just wanted to play some transport fever 2 get get my head back around the game and um figure out what was going on with the actual map itself and boy, oh boy, did I come into a big problem. Let's go to the live scene. Right, so down here, and I was telling you, Zero, quickly last night while we were doing some testing. I came into the game, and this number down in here in this corner was minus $10 million and dropping. Now, the problem was, um, we had a problem with, um, I'm just going to pause it for a second. Well, you can see we're making good money now. The problem was this port here that we'd had be, we'd been using for so long, and these are truck stops. Well, this port had stopped talking to these um, to these truck stops. I don't know what's going on. They just stopped talking to it. So it meant that um, it meant that all the timber from here that was getting set up to Huntsman stopped. All the combats being produced over here for Hank Hankston stopped. So it meant that our ships were running empty, trains were running empty, um, these um, trucks down here were running empty, and we were just losing money hand over fist. It meant that the tool system, it meant all the timber that was getting delivered to this tools factory was stopping, and the tools that were going back to Burger Hill stopped. So it was just a complete mess. Johnny will be back soon. Ooh, dinner time. So yeah, that's kind of what was happening there. I went in, I, I spent I spent probably hours trying to, because I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out why this wasn't talking to this because for so long it had. I was checking vehicles, I was checking the lines. I was like, we only just upgraded all these vehicles last stream. Anyway, I figured out it was this, and I've moved it all over to here now, basically. So what I've done is I've got the ships running out of here. I put in a truck stop just here, right? This truck stop is literally... Um, connected to that and to that so the timber that needs to go down to the port is literally just getting fed straight down there now because it has this connection point uh so that's that's fine and dandy we it means that i eliminated a whole um section of trucks i do still weirdly have a truck trucks here delivering just to here but that's for the train do i care i don't really care it i, I like the busyness i like trucks just coming in uh, and yeah that is what it is i don't know why We've started to get con mats here. I don't actually have. Oh, I do. I've switched. To... Oh, okay. I've switched the con mats line there. Yeah, because I had to take the con mats from out of here. 
I'm going to repurpose this. I'm going to leave it because I really like this. I'm, we will repurpose this to use it for something else. I'll fix it all up and get it going again properly. Um, so it will get reused because I actually quite like this older style buildings as we go into the future with it. Anyway, that's that. The other things I did is I started doing a lot of the terrain stuff ready to go for our decoration. Um, I've actually paused the date, zero, so I haven't actually checked trains. I've gone through and what I've done is I've actually done all the canal work that I wanted to do in here. Uh, I burned a bit of money doing it, um, but that was in my own time so I could let it build back up. Um, just so we could go through and start decorating all this up. What I did is I started putting the low bridge signs in as well around here. Just for the vehicles that need to utilize this area. Uh, low bridge. And I think this came up pretty good through here. We got this like low laying um, bridge which would probably flood sometimes if, if there was a higher thing. What we want to do in here is I want to get things like the assets down. And get some retaining walls um, in through this section here. So... Um, you know something like uh something like that through here right so that's kind of what i want to get um get sort of flagged up uh oh look we could just probably do it now to be honest you know what sort of works for me it can it can go like that uh and it just sort of adds as an as a, as a a barrier to the water itself uh because the track is lower than the actual water there so it would make sense to have a, a type of retaining wall. And you can see there's a puddle of water just in here, actually. So makes sense to have that, I would think. So we'll just go ahead and plonk a few more of these in. And that will do that, right? So that's kind of what I'm thinking about through there. Right. And that kind of comes up nicely then. Just adds a little bit of it. it if anything, it probably should be a touch higher. I think it looks quite good. Just It's nice and subtle like that. Uh, right. We have to check if there's electric trains. Uh, and when we do, hmm, the early electric trains are expensive and I don't know if they're going to be worth it. I do want to do some work up over here and probably get some stuff going here. But one thing did happen when I fixed all this up. Hankston now wants fuel. So we have to try and provide these guys with fuel. Now we've got the oil train that's running crude down to here. And it's taking refined back. And somehow we're going to have to get fuel to here because Hankston is going to go gangbusters, I, I think. Um, the other thing is I want to probably start working on products for these guys a little bit more. Like we can get some machine parts from uh, Stroud sent down to citrus hills oh by the way i cleaned up all of this as well so all of this is all been ready to ready to establish for um building uh you can see i did all of the cleanup work down in here i cleaned up the section through here and uh around here ready to go also uh because that was it literally cost millions and millions and squillions and squillions of dollars i cleaned up this so i cleaned up this little area through here where the trains roll through. It's all starting to look a little bit better now. Uh, yeah, anyway. So that's uh, that's that. That's what I've been up to on Transport Fever 2. Um, and I've left a lot of the decorating for us to do. I did clean up some of this junction area down here as well. Uh, it was looking a bit straight, jagged and square in certain places. It's still got to have a lot of retaining and stuff done to it. And I just expanded this cliff face out here just a little bit so I can do some retaining work around that so forth. Um, that's about it. We're, we're starting to make all right money. Like it, it fluctuates. If we check out the scoreboard and that way we can connect. Once we do all this homework sort of stuff, we can crack on. Now this train here, it will go in and out. It drops in and out. So what you're seeing here with these two don't worry about those two because they drop in and out. One minute it'll be 1.9 deficit. The next it'll be 1.9 positive. And same with this one. So our, mainly our lowest scores are from about here downwards, which we need to sort of um, work on. But you can see here we're, we're pretty well making decent money uh, otherwise. Uh, we'll, we'll get on top of those. We'll get them fixed anyway. Right. That's the homework stuff out of the way. Hello, Neon. How are you, friendo? 
Uh, I need a drink after that, but I'm not going to. Okay. Homework done. <laughs> report, report in. Let's get to uh, building. You know what? Now that I've seen that um, Citrus Hills wants some machine parts, I kind of want to. Uh, I kind of want to get some freight freight line going down, piggybacking on the back of this. Now, if we do that, this is going to be an interesting build. If we do it, we've got to look at the original plan down here. Was to, excuse me, was to have a a combined freight hub for Citrus Hills and Duke and Dukin. Now, the other thing is I suppose Lions Rock could be incorporated in a combined freight um, yard. And we could, we, when we build a bridge over here, we could potentially truck stuff over or shunt stuff over and out vice versa um, for them. We could um, we could also goat track some stuff down here eventually too, which mightn't be bad. Right, let's um let's sort of plan out this sort of freight hub. So if we got a train line that comes, well, it kind of goes that way and then it comes back down this way. If we work on that, if we work on that itself, we could potentially knock this road out. Right, even take it back to there. Uh, and we could put a freight uh, a freight section up around this mountain area here. Uh, if I just knock that tunnel back a bit too. And we kind of get you going like that. Yeah, you know, I, I, I'm sort of okay with that. Now that's running downhill a little bit. It's a bit awful. But we'll leave that plateau up there for things to build on. And we'll leave that uh, that little edge there. Um, it does mean you've got a bit of a... F yeah, we're not exactly flat off there, are we? Because we'd run on a bit of a hill. Andrew, how are you, friendo? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, going to sneeze. I'm going to stay. No, I'm not. I've just got an itchy nose. Oh, crikeys. Okay. I'm going to put my headset on because I like to listen to the game. I can't really listen to it. The speakers like that. Okay. Maybe we should put a bit of uh, El Musico in the background while we go. Uh, all right. Let's get a check in. How's everyone doing today? What's going on? Odd noise. Um, probably ghosts in my house. Getting up some music here, Brenda. This one, that one. Hmm. Uh, that's not going to work. Uh. Here we go. <clears throat> Do a lot of things, some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. Right, that might be too loud. We just want it in the background a little bit, I think. While we do some building stuff today. Okay. You can't wait till the expo. I know. It's really good that they're planning on doing that, right? Um, how's it been playing on console, Andrew? Has it been playing okay? I strive just to say I'm alright. 
Let me know if that music's too loud or too quiet because I can turn it up or turn it down conversely for you all. All right, so I think... I think what we're going to do... We're going to split a bit of track off here. Let's just go to the building and have a bit of a go at this. Keeping you nice and flat. Yeah, that's good. Right, so I just want to establish that for the moment because then I can I can always pull a bit of track like that. Right. Hmm. No, I don't like that. I prefer it pulling the way it did before. Let's try and slot you right between that gap. It's going to be tight. Otherwise, I take the road away and I'll get it in. Oh, that works. That works. The tunnel's a little funky, but uh, it's not too bad otherwise. I can fix that. I can decorate all that and, and uh, fix up that tunnel entrance anyway. Great on console. Yeah, and that's the trouble. Like, if they can get that mod up and running for everyone ASAP, how much better will that be? Uh, because there is a lot of fantastic mods that really add to the longevity of the game and the replayability of the game. I've always said it. Always said that about Transport Fever 2. The modding community is fantastic, and they've just, they just really um, do make the game so enjoyable to keep replaying and, and redoing. A lot of stuff. I make just new builds, new fun, interesting builds. We don't need to go. Don't have the yard I want. Can I have no catenary? Three twenty. And um, what's four? Give me straight up. One sec, team.
I've been muted. I can't believe I've been muted for 10 minutes. Ah! <laughs> I like how, mate. I like how, Amy, you used your member. <laughs> also, thanks for being a member for 12 months, Amy. That's bloody huge. 12 month anniversary. I mean, it already came, but uh, I like how you use that to let me know. Oh, I'm an idiot. I can't believe I was muted. You know why? Probably I wanted to do this. Hang on. Thank you, Amy, for that. I feel robotic and idiotic. In the robot world. I, don't, I, know, I never know if this synthesized voice works half the time. <laughs> I'm muted for another 10 minutes. I never know if that wrote, if the, if the synthesized words, uh, things work. I can't believe I've been muted for 10 minutes. Um, what was the last thing you heard? <laughs> An idiot. Uh, I haven't been really saying much. I've just been talking about putting this together. So don't worry. I wasn't saying anything realistically important. I never do say anything important, let's be honest. it makes me want to put i'll put some more deck oh, although the ai might uh build some town down this way we just don't know yet uh, now with that road there 
I'm sort of doing some city planning as well down here. Hey, look at that. Money is definitely going in the right direction now. Yeah, I like it. Uh, because realistically, we now can get vehicles up that way. Also, ah, uh, hello. Hey, buddy, you want to get an upgrade? There you go, have an upgrade. Consumption is 144. Let's get some... Uh, let's get some trucks going from this farm too. We're going to do... Uh, we will get to the point where we will do some... Um, um, decoration for the farms and make the farms look like actual farms, especially coming all the way down into here. We will get that rocketing along um, in the next few episodes. We'll start doing a lot of the decoration stuff. Now that we're getting on top of monetary issues. Classic hand muted. Did the... Um... <laughs> oh, I'm just going to take myself for a time out. No, I already did that for 10 minutes. I'm sorry, chat. Please forgive me. Literally have the buttons at a push of a finger. <laughs> I am, Anna. That's probably the that's probably the most apt way to describe me, Anna, is a certified goof. <laughs> Andrew, that's not a bad idea. I have thought about that before. The Colonel used to do that a lot. The, the Colonel Failure used to do a lot of, like, checking of other people's maps and playing along with them. I'm happy if people have maps... If people have maps they would like me to pull up on stream and show their work and, and have a look at it, I'm more than happy for, to have a look at it. it. It does mean, though, it has to be via PC because you have to put it up onto the Steam Workshop for me to grab it off there. But if people do have maps out there and they want me to check, come to the Discord, send me a message and say, Hey Ham, um, do you want to check out my map on stream? We can have a look at it. We can play around and stuff. Zero, I'd, I'd love to check out some of your maps on stream. Right. Oh, here's my favorite little train stop down here. This is literally my favorite train stop. I just, I love the big building in the background. I love, if if I could, here's one thing I wish I could do. Like in, in City Skylines 1, is it? I don't know if you can do it in 2. But you can actually click on a building and I can say, lock this building forever. The, the game is not allowed to destroy the building or take it away. If I could do that with this building, I would. I absolutely adore this building in the backdrop of this train station. Look at that. This is honestly my favorite train station in the game at the moment. This one down here, Citrus Hills. Just think it looks neato. Neato, friendo. Right. I don't think this crane's going to work. I don't think you're ready for this craney. I don't think you're ready for this crane. No way, I do have the construction stuff down here. Brilliant. Oh, I thought it was gone. Huh. Let's put some construction work in.
sure. Oh, I for completely forgot that we had... We'll put some big beams on the ground, hey? Get some big beams on the ground. Uh, what's this one? Oh, that's, uh, we won't get that. Oh, I completely forgot that I had this. No, that's not going to work there. Put that in the wrong spot. Oh. No. No, <laughs> I've got a floating crane. <laughs> there we go. Ah, uh, the old floating crane trick. <laughs> right, let's try that crane again. I wanted it to sit like that, I think. Yes, that's how I wanted you to sit. <laughs> uh, with these, I need them to not be as long, I don't think. This is how I, uh, I like to whip, I like to whip in little decorative construction sites and so forth. Right, um, we'll also go ahead and put in like these to make it look like there's actual, um, more construction going on that's only just being put in. Uh, we'll do like that, like that, and like that. Right, we'll do something like that. Oh, one second, team. I don't think you're ready for my spaghetti, Anna. <laughs> uh, be safe! Hey, um, hello, Cyber. I hope you're well. I hope you're both well. I hope you had a good day today, guys. Uh, um, that was just mum. I've got to go over and check on her dogs later because mum's away at the moment for my auntie's birthday. That's why I've been doing... I've been on Nana duty because my Nana's in hospital at the moment. Uh, she's at that age and um, I've been doing the Nana duty. And... Um, I'm also, uh, the mum's dog's gone a bit funny this morning, so dad's had to go into work, and I've got to go and check on the dog, because he's not eating, and he's been a bit funny, so I've got to go now do the dog, dog duty, after, after streaming, not now, all good, uh, I did have, oh, maybe it's this, yes, these little shacks, these are brilliant, these little shacks, they're like little working shacks, uh, we'll go like that, I think, one there on-site working shacks there's a couple of them All right you can get a little village of shacks out here uh there's some um, like that i wouldn't call that a shed you got wheelbarrows you got scaffolding you've got loose wood put a pile of loose wood there why not uh metal beams right you can put piles of stuff here there's more cranes you can put in some blue ones right different size cranes Got like an, we'll go like a blue one there. Right, just so you can see that over here there's a bit of construction going on. And then there are some vehicles you can get. I don't know if I will. Uh, 
while we're going to put in some um, stuff today, the good thing is we're doing some saving while I'm doing this. That's kind of why I want to do it. Well, so I wanted to do some decorating today while we do some building. It's how we're going to be playing today. So I hope I hope everyone's on board with that. Uh, okay. The vehiculars. Truck assets, please. Uh, I want to go with, like, these dump truckeries. did have i don't know if i've got the mod actually holy look at that thing that's brilliant for when you're doing mines and you want to do some decorative stuff for like coal mines and uh the quarries and so forth those big uh tipper trucks are brilliant for that i'm going to get in a couple of tanker trucks here some old uh just look these we're we're kind of a bit early for these only just but i want to get them in now where are we i kind of want to get them in there oh we can use this one just as a bit of a thing. You're probably not going to see a lot of this stuff down here, but um, I, don't, I didn't have that. I did have construction vehicles. I don't know if I put them in. I don't think I have, to be honest. I might have to put the construction vehicles mod into so I can finish some of those decorative stuff. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably just go with that for the moment. Something like that, you know. Um, and then down here, we can sort of, um, bitumen that up a little bit. We'll get, like, the cracked pavement here. Okay, we don't need it everywhere, because I kind of, I kind of like the dirtiest stuff everywhere. So what we'll do is we get the cracked pavement, we paint it in. We'll probably, um, line this somehow here, or just here. So if I just get fence asset that fence there and I'm literally just going to straight line this from here you're floating by the way have we got like opera music on or something now I don't want you to uh, you're a bit you're a bit off kilter there buddy I take you from here Sure. We'll do something like that. Then we'll go back here and get a retaining wall. We will use the Bezel Blocks for this one. I can't believe we got... <laughs> We've literally got, like, opera music on. Johnny, you're back. You ready? Ham's, Ham's in the opera. I don't know what's going on. I'm not changing it either because I can't be bothered. Oh, dear. Right. This retaining wall doesn't need to be that high. It just needs to be subtle. Just to get, get that drop off just there. Uh, Johnny, you missed it. Ham, typical ham, uh, was muted for 10 minutes talking to himself. Amy, Amy had to call me out for it. Oh, it was funny. Thank you, Amy. You're the best. You're the best around. All right, I've kind of had enough of this opera music. It's getting a bit intense now. Right, we're just going to go to there. I couldn't, I couldn't handle that anymore. This is a better song. That's just going to finish that off, which means I can now paint this area up again. Right, 
so we get our crack pavement, right? I'll have to do something similar over here, right? So we can do something in there. So we've got our crack pavement, and you just don't want crack pavement everywhere. You want to then get some gravel. But we won't, we're going to go a bit lighter with this gravel. And we're just going to start sprinkling in gravel. I might just blend that out a little bit. Too. Oh, that's the wrong one. Blend that out a little bit too, like that. Right, blend that out through there. Then we get our gravel back. And it really, you can, it sort of starts to extend, um, just starts to really, that's a bit dark. A bit of that. Right, and you just, uh, you don't want things to look perfect, especially these old, these old freight areas. It's a bit much. Okay. Uh, which one is that? I don't even know anymore. That one I thought is this one. Yeah, it's that one. Okay. Uh, and the other cool thing about putting in work like this, right? So we're just going to take out some of that craggly stuff all over the place. Leave it like that. And you get a nice sort of textured finish. All through here. Uh, give me back my lighter color. Is that that one? No, right, this one. Right, and then um, to finish it off, I need a weedy, weedy, weedy weed. Weedy weeds. It's a nice little. So, yeah, it's so, yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? <laughs> We're going to, the music's all over the place. Oh, 10 degrees, so you can finally wear nice uh, shoes instead of ugly boots for once. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Oh, what food are you having, Anna? Hello, Dan. Hello, Brendo. I don't know if I'm happy with that. That looks like that looks like Johnny's chocolate mousse that he likes to show us. Johnny's chocolate mousse. That's what that is. I just want to take out some of those, please. Yeah, that's. A bit more. I only want sporadic little weeds here and there, you know? Like someone hasn't done their job properly. Okay. 
I might put a car park in here or something, but we'll leave that. Um, we'll put up some prison fencing. I say prison fencing, but it's not really. This one's not. I can put the prison fencing in, but I don't really like to barbed wire everything. Can I have you not adjust the height for me for a second, please? This used to be my old uh, intro song, didn't it? Or was the intro song to one of the games we were playing? What game was that? Man, my tinnitus is bad today. All I can hear is, um, I, I, am I using uh, modded vehicles? I certainly am. Yeah, we are. We're getting into it. Uh, the more we get into the uh, later years, the more vehicles will start unlocking for us, uh, Andrew. So we, we've got, I started off this series. I don't know if you've uh, seen much of the series from the start, but I started off this series pretty much, um, pretty much vanilla. And as we go, I've just been adding more and more. happy with that now the, the, the reason i like using this fence is because when you have weeds tucked around the fence and on a craggly sort of um area i'm gonna come up to here actually i'm gonna come up to here just finish that fence about there that fence will get finished off later once i figure out what i'm gonna do exactly up here but when you have these when you have these fences and you have like weeds underneath the fence and stuff it starts to make it look a little bit more Better than. Uh, we're just going to go with that for a bit. This could also be a bit of a car park section down here. I didn't actually put the car park mod in. I normally have a car park section here, but to for 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 just the sake of it today, we're going to actually um, start parking a few cars just down here. A couple of work utes, stuff like that. Can I get uh, random things? And then as the as the ages go on, I'll have to come back and change out some of these vehicles and put in a proper car park. I don't want that one. Get that one. just go something like that i think is that the same car twice people can't park very straight that's because they don't have lines ham yeah well that's not my fault right so that'll be that just starts to make the place look a little bit busier and then we start to get this nice little freight uh, freight area down here i want to i do want to put a building in here because i feel like we need something however i don't think oh that's a bit modern I don't think I have anything. I could use these old factories, couldn't I? Like that. I don't want you to be an asset. No, don't be an asset for me. Give me that. Um, and then where is it? This one here. No. This one. Um, and then we get a heap of this stuff. Just start laying it around. And then eventually we'll have a heap of trucks and stuff. Do I have my shipping containers mod on? I don't think I do.
Couple of those. Big, big bins. Uh, and then I'll also, now. It's coming along nicely. No, so Andrew, my playthroughs, I typically like to do hubs, right? So this this one here, uh, this Duke and Transfer is going to facilitate Citrus Hills, Duke and, and potentially Lion's Rock. Now, this is a difficult map because of the uh, because of the hill grades and stuff we've got in it. But down here, I've got to decorate all this up. So much like what I'm doing over here, we're going to be implementing that in down here. Now, I've gone ahead and done all the canal work, ready to go. Uh, and then this is all going to be done up as well. But this, uh, this here is sort of like a centralized hub where a lot of the trains are coming in to feed, feed a lot of networks around here. Same with this one. This is kind of a freight hub where we've got a lot of stuff coming in down here as well. Uh, which needs to be worked on also. You're going to change the TV, um, Johnny? Brilliant, friend. Oh, I love this. I love these lighthouses. Great mod. Uh, so, yeah, I typically like to do a bit of freight hubs, as, as it were, say. I don't... I don't... I, I don't do direct anymore. I do... I, I, well, I've never really done it. I've always pretty much done freight hubs where I distribute from them. Right, um, that's looking pretty good. I I'm probably going to leave that. I can do a lot more decoration. I could just keep going with the decoration on that. There is one thing I did want to put in here that I don't know if I can find. So I just want to see if I've got it um, quickly. Um, and if I don't, we'll just move on. Um, I don't remember what it was under. So I'm not going to waste too much time trying to find it. We are going to make up a nice big... Oh. Raggies. We're going to make a big... um Station. We're going to make a big uh, supermarket um, food processing plant today as well. Is the car park. I don't want that. I love this song. Maybe that's something I was looking for. I'm just going to plonk that there to remind me to use that later. Look at that, some wind turbines. They could go up, they could go up on here. Right, anyway. That's enough. I, I there's a little booth, tire booth with a boom gate that I've got somewhere. I don't I don't know what I've what where I've got the asset. Oh. You I don't think we really had. I think they had a lot of forklifts in 1919. So we're gonna hold out for the forklifts. Okay, that's that. The cool thing now is we can actually get this hooked up. So what we're gonna do. Oh, boy, this place is going to be extremely busy. We're going to need to send um, these machine parts over to here. And we're going to have to roll another train in. Oh, okay, right. I was like, why are you coming out of there? Yeah, okay, well... Just 
Just in case we thought stuff wasn't going to be busy, it's going to be a lot more busier now. So we've got our trains that can, they split off this way. Let's do it. Time to get another train up and down here just to really clog up the system that's already backed up. So uh, let's get a new line. We're going to go platform uh, uh, three. Can you please... Um, wait, that one's already taken, is it? Yes, it is. Ah. Well, you're going to have to share. And just make it grey so I can actually see what's going on a little bit. We're just going to call this... Um, we're going to call this... Um, Sprout. Uh, machine parts. Why well, have I got caps lock on? Stroud MPs. Um, transfer. To hub. No, I'm just going to leave it. Uh, via truck. Okay. And that's going to come down to here. And drop off. Which one's just the drop-offs in here? I think this one. So yeah, you can stay on that side for me. That'll be brilliant. Yeah, we'll leave it that. Then let's buy that. We're doing all right money-wise, so let's buy the vehicles for that now. I do want some kind of open truck for it, but yeah, we might go with this, the Mac. We're just going to get maybe six to start with. We can always increase those later. That's going to be Stroud MP's um, transfer, machine parts transfer, right? So it's now, while they sort of do their thing losing money, which isn't fine because they're not going to lose too much money, we're now going to overload this station. Uh, but the brilliant thing is we're going to pull it into this side. I'm going to have you on... Yeah, on two. On two. And then you're going to come down here. Now, uh, before we go ahead and do any more, we haven't put in any signal work at all. Okay, no stopping in the tunnels. No tunnel stoppage. Right, you're fine. You've got those there. Ha! Huh. Look at that. Now, I've got a spare line here. Are you running on the inside or outside? You're running on the outside, which is totally fine. I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch your station. I'm going to switch your station to be on the outside here because I'm going to run the I'm going to run the, tr um, the cargo trains on the inside. So at Dukin, can you come to two now, please? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then what we're going to do is I'm actually going to take that, that, that. Yeah, game, shut up. Okay, that's odd. Glad we rectified that though. I'm going to just bring you to there. Brilliant. So that's now our... Uh... 
We gotta paint that before Steven gets here. It does early on, Andrew. Uh, early on, if when you're in the early 1850s, getting a hub up and running, it's expensive. Like, making money, and we're on hard difficulty. We're not on the hardest, and it's still quite difficult to try and make money. We've spent a lot of time trying to get money rolling, especially when you've got a map as hilly, mountainous, rangy as this, and separated. We've got a lot of... We don't have... We've got a lot of... Um, got a lot of connection issues like a lot of uh, towns that aren't connected because of waterways so it makes it even harder when you're trying to figure out the best way to make money and I like that challenge and the other thing I really like which a lot of people don't do because um which is not a bad thing I like to build very busy stuff I like a lot of stuff going on uh which is sometimes detrimental it kind of um can make it a little bit harder but I, I like it. I just like a lot of stuff going on. I like to watch a lot of things. So just how I just how it is. I like it to be busy. Uh oh crikeys. Oh dear. Yeah, okay, so you people just missed. The people down here are going to miss a train for... <laughs> the trains had to divert straight th because I switched the lanes up before it could go. The passenger train has to roll through the new freight freight yard. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so that's that. Um... Back to our signal work. So signal, signal, signal. That's fine. It can do what it wants. Uh, we'll be coming into here to start with. So, and then you got signals down there. I will put a couple of. Uh, will I? No, I won't. Yeah, that's pretty good then. We'll run it like that. Okay. Back to our line. Line one, position two, train. Brilliant. Oh, you've decided to come down that line. Hey, look, you do what you want to do. I would have preferred you to be on the outside track and then I'll feed them progressively in. So I think I still will. We'll go one. And then we'll progressively feed the trains into other stations through there. I feel like we've heard this song already, but I don't care. We'll hear it again. These colors, man. Give me um, dark green for a second. No, okay, so this is what I thought. After Stroud, you're going to have to come this way, buddy boy. That's better. That's better. We want everything running one way. Groovy bananas. Man, this is a busy section of track now. That's it. We need to buy a train. Right. You're going to just literally be Stroud to... Um, you can... Uh, oh, I need to get the um, transfer at the other end too. Uh, MPs. I train. 
Uh, not terrain. All right. Right, and I just need to see downtown here where we're actually going to feed a, uh, a drop-off point. Now, I want my truck stops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, yeah. So we've got food on this side. And we've got machine parts on this side. Well, we're literally just going to do a drop-off in town here. Down, down, up, around, off you go. Brilliant. And that's going to be, um... What am I doing for Citrus? Am I just doing Citrus? I'll do Citrus Hills. I'll do the full name. Uh, MPs... Uh, delivery by a truck, okay? Cool. Yeah. Buy some trucks for that. We're going to go with these. I like these as the little del delivery ones. So we'll go um, six again. We'll probably need to put more on that as we go. Uh, what are you, your... Yeah, Citrus Hills, weren't you? I just had it. Citrus Hills. So we are saying it's Citrus Hills, MPs delivery. Cool. You guys go and do that. Now we can get a train and I can grab a bottle of water while we do a track ride. <laughs> oh, should we buy our train from the, because this is now redundant. This, this, uh, this depot is a backup depot. Gary, why did the traffic light turn red? You would too if you changed in the middle of the street. I don't have my didum shreddy. Brilliant Fury. Hey, I've got a I've got a traffic light joke for you. You ready for this? What did the green man say to the red man? That's my only traffic light joke that I've got. <laughs> uh, all right, here's our new, uh, here's our new depot yard that we haven't really utilized yet. This is going to be fun buying a train from here and seeing which I love. I love when you have <laughs> Johnny's back here. Johnny, you just missed my brilliant joke. It was terrible. Um, it was one of these jokes. Sorry, the music's on the background. Do you want me to? Is it better if I just turn the music off for a bit? I'm, I'm happy to keep it playing, but... Uh, this is the new depot yard we put in last time. It's not been decorated or anything. But I love putting a depot yard in because it means that we can actually... It, it's fun seeing which way the train wants to go to get to its des destination. Let's buy a train. Let's see if there's any electrics. Oh, we have the mill. Is this the? Is this like Milwaukee? Is that what it's short for? Zero or M I L W? What's this locomotive, commonly known as the bipolar? Ah! <laughs> was one of the most interesting and complex. It's also two million dollars a year. Ah, uh -uh. no diesel jet, no diesels. So we're going to stick with the steam for a bit longer. The Mikado. I don't know if the Mikado is going to be. It's. I want to use it, but I feel like. So these were built in the US for Russia in the um, in the First and Second World Wars. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool bit of history. I think we'll go with the Mikado. We'll give it a go. If it's running too expensive, we'll change it out. We're going to run with the Nafis, okay? Or am I? We're literally just taking machine parts. Am I going to be bringing back anything at the moment?
Let's just hang, hang on, just before I buy that train. Got any coal down here? No, we've got iron. There's plenty of products up on top of the hill which we can't access yet because of technology. The only thing we can really bring back is grain. Unless we start bringing stuff back from over here, which we can't. Uh, wait, this here, I didn't put... Uh, I didn't put a line on there. Uh, I'm just thinking maybe we could take grain back. We do have a lot sitting on the deck here. You're at maximum. Your consumption is 450. You've got stored 42. You're not transporting maximum. Ah, uh, it's still there. No, not going to happen, Runcorn. Sorry, friendos. Yeah, we could take grain back or we could use the grain down this end. Huh. Hmm. Or we could take food back. Simply put. Strad, are you getting enough food? Strad's not getting enough food. Alright, here's the plan. We could take some food back. Uh, where's the, is it, uh, Dukin or Citrus Hills? What farm are you? Citrus Hills grain transfer truck. So, give me this, um, control C. Control V, and then we'll go number two. Okay, and then we'll get some trucks on that. Uh, buy vehicles. Got any dump trucks for just grain? Okay, give me um, 16. Set them on citrus truck two, thanks. Um, because... Because these trucks here I'm just a bit conflicted. I don't want to send food back to Stroud and start cannibalizing what's going on up here. But at the same time, getting Stroud's growth and population up is, is kind of imperative so i want to potentially send i'm going to send some food down here you know so what we're going to do these trucks here how many have we got you're at maximum chickens i'm going to send um Oh, wow. Okay. Manage these vehicles. Replace them with um, some delivery trucks, please. Cool. Right. Get that done. They're just going to hold up traffic if they don't. Okay. Uh, let's increase that. Let's get our trucks that are uh, doing the pickup here. They're going to manage that line. After Citrus Hills North, you're going to just pull into here for me. Uh, sure, why not? 
In fact, if I can get you to actually... Come this way, so... And halt, so citrus, add that. Yep, better. Right, okay, cool bananas. So that's going to be their route now. Right, well, what they're going to do, they're going to actually drop... Um, so at Citrus Hills North, I'm going to tell you to load that and unload that. And then at Duke and Holt, I'm going to tell you to not load anything and just unload that. Just to, just to let you know what I actually want there, because I don't want grain down there. Okay, cool. Now, I don't know if that means... Okay, you aren't talking, so that's okay. That's all I want there. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use the Nafi cars because we, we're going to send potentially food from there back into Stroud as well. All right. Now, we've got to do some uh, updates here. Manage these vehicles. All these vehicles need to be upgraded. Delivery trucks, thanks. Manage vehicles. Delivery trucks, thanks. Ah, uh, you can go with that, the grain ones. Um, and then these can get an upgrade. Manage these vehicles. Place them with uh, that. And that's good. That's going to help these get lifted and shifted a little bit more too. Because uh, we're going to have a bit more grain car, a bit more food come in for these guys. So, yeah. That's good. The train will bring the food in. These guys are already delivering. Perfect. Um, so, back to our train. Now that we've got that all established... So we said, uh, theme-wise, we're going to go with the uh, Mikado. And then cargo-wise, we're going to go with the Nafis. Um, unless we've got something that takes... What do we take? Machine parts and food. <gasps> we can use box cars. I love box cars, and very rarely do you get to use them to take two products back and forth. In fact, this Mikado is probably overkill for this now. Yeah. Uh... What's this BR75.4? That's a passenger train. The S. Um, it could operate with inferior coal. I'm looking for a cheap train that's going to run fairly quick is all. Uh, that's why this, that's why the 10 wheel is so good. It does really good click and it's really cheap. So we're going to, I'm just going to stick with the 10 wheeler, but we're going to paint it up. Uh, give me a color. <laughs> Johnny, it was not steaming moose. Uh, oh, what's this color like? I don't know about that. What about like a dark maroon to go with it? Now, are we thinking 132 is a good start? It's a decent start. We'll see how it goes. Set you on. Stroud Duke. And I'm going to have to change this line's name as well. Because it's going to be mixed consist. Well, it's not really. It's just going to run. Uh, it's not mixed consist because it's not running mixed um, wagons. It's just running mixed product in the one boxcar. So it's not really mixed consist. It's just mixed product. Uh, we're going to put you on that. However, I'm going to pause you for a second because I want to change the name of that line. What's well, it's, it's, it's Citrus uh, Dukin. 
No, it's um, Stroud to Dugan, so it's down here. Now, uh, if that's the case, I'm actually going to make you yell uh, like that yellowy color because well, uh, a lot of yellow down that line, so maybe I'll keep you that color. Uh, we'll go with um, MPs and food. Uh, you know what? Stroud to Dukin, um, trade. Trade train. The trade train. Trade, 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 train, train. Stroud, Dukin, trade, train. Uh, which one are you coming out of? Oh, I like the color. It's like a really deep maroony purpley with the guy I like it also why are we is my controller plugged in and that's doing that that's probably why oh, I like it I'm all about it it's kind of got this like old school like get a bit of light on it oh yeah that looks hot and it matches the wagons What do you think, team? Looks all right. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's get on. I like it. I love the. I love these wagons. These are some of my favorite assets in the game. These wagons, the vanilla ones. I think they just look brilliant. Virginia and Truckee. I think they look great. I think this train looks great. Like I said, I'm. This is one of my favorite trains in the game. One of my actual favorite trains in the game. All right, I'm gonna do a quick bio break. We're at a, we're at a, what hour and thirty five. I'm gonna do a quick bio break. Grab a bottle of water, and we're gonna enjoy this uh, train ride. Take it away, train. Hello there. Uh-oh, I saw some weeds. All right, Hanker. Dreamy time. These smell like Vegemite. 
I don't know if any of you have ever smelt Vegemite because I know that it's an Australian product mostly. But they smell like Vegemite. These are like dentist sticks for dogs. Bah. There you go, Hanka. Bit of fluff on you, you know. Put that on you. Okay. How's the food? What'd you get, Anna? What was for dinner? Ooh, what was for dinner? All right, we're doing, we're currently doing a track ride on this beauty. Mmm, water. That's what everyone wants. Well, they do actually. I drink so much water, I feel like I'm going to drown in it sometimes. Ah, oh, so what is it? 16th of April. It's now been four months and 16 days since I've had any Pepsi Max. How good's that? No Pepsi Max for four months and 16 days. I'm really, I'm really proud of myself for that because I used to drink a lot of Pepsi Max. Let the switch it for the water. Ah, oh. I'd like to just get a little bit up here. Right, the other thing is we'll probably, uh, after we do this track ride, we'll probably just click it up to quarter speed again so we can start going through the years again a little bit. And then we might head over to the other side of the map and see what we can do over there for a little bit of work. Yeah, Johnny, 100%. It's done me... I, I feel a lot better. Uh, not only that, but... I just don't think it's... I just don't think it was any good for my insides. No, I... I went on a big caffeine stoppage when I started. Absolutely went cold turkey. No coffee, no Pepsi Max, no... Because I really like drinking a Monster... So every now and then I get, I have a monster now and then. Uh, but I stopped for a few weeks. I stopped and I, man, it was a struggle at the start, but I persisted with it, pushed through it, went through it. Now I'm pretty good. I don't crave it anymore. I, I think sometimes I'm like, oh, I could have a Pepsi Max. And I'm like, nah, I don't need to. You like that with the full fat Coke? Oh, Dan. Um, my best mate, his dad drinks, um, his dra his dad drinks full leaded, leaded Coke. We call it leaded Coke or unleaded Coke over here. He drinks full leaded, leaded Coca-Cola nonstop, like bottles of it. So like the one, two fives and the two liters. And I don't know how you do it. Uh, but that stuff just must chew you up inside. But that's good, friendo, that you did that. Um. <laughs> Andrew, I, uh, I'm back on the coffee now, trust me. The, the migraine I had at the start, whole, I have never experienced a migraine in my life like it. It was intense. I'm just going to speed up here and get through this. It was absolutely intense. Uh, and I pushed through it. It took, it took about... Um, took about three days to get through the actual... Uh, migraine part of it. It was absolutely horrendous. However, once I was through it, it was fine then. Big A! Hey, uh, hey, Big A. I have to talk to you about some Twitch stuff, friend. Are you still doing Twitch streaming? Because I was doing some testing last night for the multi-stream of Twitch stuff, so I'm going to be looking at increasing my streaming um, and doing morning streams your guys' time. But uh, probably on Twitch. Uh, Johnny, stop drinking. Uh, you've increased the gummies and decreased the drinking. <laughs> You're... 
You're an unregistered dietitian? Yeah, well, I've changed my complete diet at the start of the year, Anna. So I, um, I'm very strict on my diet these days and it's been, it's been just life changing. It's been so good and I'm so pleased with the results um, and how things are going. I'll be definitely sticking with it. What's going on here? What have we got on board? We've got one machine part. How about we get a couple more? Um, so yeah, the Pepsi Max, everything stopped. So it's all just water. Um, I, I have a, I have a shot of coffee, like a, an espresso, if, if I'm really craving it. And maybe once a week, I'll have a Monster Energy drink. It's a sugar-free one, and that's probably about it. I don't drink anything else except for that. And coconut water. I love my coconut water. That's about it. Um, otherwise, there's lots of sodium in coconut water still, though, too, and, and stuff. So you got to be careful of that. Um, but... Food-wise, oh boy, yeah. I just really had to sh tighten up on the uh, other food and stuff as well. Hello! Well over. What's going on, friendo? Headaches. You know nothing, John Snow. You know nothing, John Snow. <laughs> I get at least two a week minimum. Oh, Johnny, that sucks, friendo. <laughs> You're on the seafood diet, Andrew. <laughs> I eat a lot of seafood, actually. Being Australian, I grew up on the beaches, and when I was little, my dad used to take... Um, we used to go... I, I was, I'm not a big fisherman, right? I don't like... Fishing's not really my thing. I get a bit bored with it. But what we did used to do, we used to go yabby pumping, and I don't know if you know what yabby pumping is, but there's these big um, pumps like this. They're about that big, right? And they got a, They just look like a big bicycle pump, but they've got a hollow end to them. And you used to walk around the wet the wet flats of the of the sand where the water washes out and you just literally plunge this thing in the sand and you pull up yabbies like mini cra mini crayfish and stuff uh like mini lobsters and stuff and oh boy they were good fresh those and we used to go um there used to be an, there's an island called stradbroke island that we used to go and camp at and we used to get the the, the sand crabs and sand crabs are probably like that big and um, catch them fresh and cook them Oh, it's the best meat you've ever had. Uh, fresh crab. No alcohol. Anna, I barely drink alcohol anymore, actually. I I think um, I'll only have some alcohol if it's like a special occasion or something. Otherwise, I don't... I mean, I don't drink by myself. I just find no need to... There's no need for me to drink, sit here and drink by myself. Um, it's more of a social thing if I do it. But no, I, I don't mind having a social drink now and then. My parents are quite big drinkers uh, because they drink wine each night with dinner and stuff. They drink a lot of it. It's just something um, I do. It's more of a social thing for me, but... Yeah, I don't really... I really cut a lot of stuff out and really just dialed back my diet and kept, simplified it. And this year I felt... Because I can't... So if, if many of you that are new to the channel and don't know, I used to serve in the Navy here in Australia. Um, and I almost lost my foot. So I've had seven reconstructions to put my foot back together. And um, so all my exercise went out the window. So that meant my usual diet and calorie intake that I could consume was still consuming, but my exercise regime was going down because I couldn't do the exercise that I normally do. I love pulling, I love rolling through these stations, that's for sure. Um, so basically, uh, I've had to rejig my whole diet now to sort of compensate for the amount of exercise that I can sort of physically do. Yeah, it's it's been quite, it's been it's been a hard adjustment. Trust me. You drink the herbal tea and the green tea. The green tea's green tea's got caffeine in it. I don't know herbal tea. I think is pretty pretty fine, but. Um, I'm not a big tea drinker either. I tried to drink a lot of tea. I do have tea bags there. If I do, I drink like a ginger, like you, but a bit of a herbal tea. No, no, no. Look, the injury recovery has been going for a long time now. It's, um, now it's about, um, it's about managing, basically, it's about trying to reduce the weight and managing the weight because um, it's really hard on your foot. 
especially when I had a lot of weight because I'm about, I'm just under six foot and I was now it's, uh, I don't know the conversion here, but I was, uh, I was 96 kilos. So you convert that to whatever your pounds are. Um, so just under six foot, 90, 96 kilograms is pretty heavy. And I'm not, I'm not super fat, but I just kept getting wider. Um, so I had to reduce my weight because it was putting a lot of strain on my, on my leg and my whole, my whole right side. And it started to help. So the calorie wise, I'm, I'm well within my calorie tolerances each day. Cause I've got an, I've got a calculator. I actually have a calorie calculator. I have to, I have to, I have to calculate everything I eat at the moment. It's pretty intense. Oh, 50. It's almost 1am. So you're off. You're knackered. 45 gig. What are you downloading 50? 211 pounds at just under six foot. So there you go. <laughs> I'm not that anymore. I think I'm about, I think I'm down to 88 kilos now. So that's how much since I've started this diet, because the, the whole point of the diet is to reach about 84 kilograms by June. So I'm, I'm trying to do it over a longer period to be healthier about it instead of these crash diets that you do. So I'm just trying to be consistent. And I'm just trying to just get it down. I go for walks with Hank all the time, get the dog out. Like we went at 5.30 this morning, my time. I got up, went for a walk with Hank, um, come back. I do chin-ups, push-ups each day. I do what I can and then just try to eat healthy-ish now. So it, it's working really well. I'm feeling a lot better. Cut out a lot of bad stuff that was making me feel terrible. Yeah, I think it's working well. Anyway, there you go. That's to bring you up a little of the speed. You're six and you weigh 174. That's, I'd say that's fairly above, above average height for a girl, I would say, Anna. Five, seven. Yeah, down 50. What are you downloading, friendo? Oh, if it's a game. I only want to know if it's a game. If it's not a game, then don't, I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at all this beautiful farmland we can do stuff in here. Six foot and 230 there. Yeah, well, that's about what I was. I had to just cut it down. Yeah. The, the app, I think... Um, Starting the diet and using the app that I had really just went hand in hand because I was just literally, I was calculating all the water I was drinking, all the exercise that I was doing, all the steps I have to take, all the calories I'm taking, the salt intake, my sugar intake. It, it calculates it all and puts it into a, okay, you're getting close to your daily intake of salt or sodium. Maybe best to not do that. Now, it doesn't say not best to do that, but it gives you a, it gives you a bar and the bar goes green to yellow to red and then goes over. Um, so you want to stay under that bar for sodium and salt. I mean, sodium and um, sugar. Hey, really good app. Brilliant app, actually. If you'd like to know the app details, I can tell, I'll tell you on the Discord. I'll get the details up and tell you. Optimal BMI is actually quite high for people over 60. Is it because, is it because when you reach over 60... Your body starts to lose mass and size anyway, so it take it requires a bit more food to. I don't know. Is that is that right? Because you know the body starts to wind down a bit. Yeah, Johnny. I know your last results were good, hey, from the doc. Here we go. We're about to pull into our new station team. Let's see if there's any food waiting for us. Food. Ah, it's sarcopenia and also weight increases bone density. Older people have issues with or preserve bone density. So, what would you recommend to sort of look? Everyone's probably loses a bit a bit of bone density and stuff. But what would you recommend to keep the strength up to the bone density for the? I guess it would be calcium intake and that sort of stuff, would it?
Eight stone. Andrew, there's that old stones. Have you ever, have you ever, oh, look at all the food we're getting on board. Okay, there's a lot of food there. That's a lot of food. Have you ever um, Googled the history on how stone became a weight measurement? Oh, bloody hell, it's brilliant. Sitting is so bad, like this right now. I sit a lot. That's why I bought this stand-up desk, and i got to stand up more. But I'd already been up since 5.30, walking for 3.5K. So you can imagine what that does with a, with a foot full of metal. And um, after seven reconstructions, yeah, and my foot has arthritic plugs in it and stuff, so I can't stand on it all day. <laughs> it's, it's, um, I need to sit down for most of it. But I'll be up after I stream today. I'll be up, up and active doing stuff again. Finish off my finish off my exercise. I've got to go to mum and dad's. Sort out the dogs because there's a problem with mum's dog. I hate when there's a problem with dogs. Speaking of dogs, where did that one go? So for any of you that don't know, uh, like I said at the start of the stream today, I've been working on setting up multi-stream for Twitch. If you have Twitch and you want to come and uh, hang out on that, because I'm going to be increasing my streaming to um, mornings, your time. So I'm going to be streaming mornings, your time, and evenings, your time going forward. Uh, but at the moment, we're going to be doing a lot of testing. I've got to clean all these weeds out before um, Stephen gets here. Um... Yeah, so we're going to be doing um, Twitch and YouTube streaming. So all the YouTube streams will be continuing as normal. We're just going to increase to incorporate Twitch and YouTube in the evenings. So I'm doing a bit of testing at the moment for that. So if you're around uh, and you want to know, my Twitch link is on the YouTube channel. You can go and click that to join up so you don't miss out on any stuff that we're going to be doing there as well. Okay, but uh, never fear because anything that I do on Twitch, I will put on YouTube as well if you want to stay up to date with it and you miss the live streams for that. But uh, doing doing the streams in the evening, my time, is just going to open it up for a lot of you that... Um... <laughs> Steve, hello! It's just going to open it up a lot for you guys that um, miss these streams, basically, or, or it's too early in the morning, like it's 1am for 50 Oh, Train Sim World. Is that what you're downloading, 50? Nice. You got the bundle. The humble bundle. <laughs> you said weeds too many times. I stood in the mirror and I did three turnarounds and I went, weeds. 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 And then Stephen was right there and he went, I see you, Ham. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Stephen, stop, stop being there the whole time. How are you, Stephen, by the way? Hey, uh, anyone that's in chat right now, if you want to go and see some fantastic transports to, uh, Transport Fever 2 work, go over and check out Anna. Anna does some great tutorial stuff, especially when it comes to making realistic-looking um, um, designs for scenery and stuff. Brilliant stuff over there. And Stephen does some fantastic... Fantastic in-depth um, Transport Fever 2 work and very knowledgeable, uh, both of them on that. Anna also does a bit of modding uh, that she's trying to get up and going as well. So go over and check out their channels if you want to actually see some more Transport Fever 2 action when we're not on the live streams uh, and go and uh, show them some support too. All right, while we're doing that, I've got to actually do it my head in now. Steven, you've con oh, you do, you've just do, it's doing my head in now. I think it was right through here as well. It was like, oh no, I'd done that. It was back here. Now, there is something I am going to do down here. I'm going to start... 
I do want to just start doing a little bit of farm work down here if I can, please. I want to actually get rid of that road. I don't want that road to be a thing. And I'm going to get rid of just some of these. Uh, am I? Actually, I don't mind some of the trees. I might paint this in by hand. Hmm. New follower, Johnny1250. Is that you, Johnny, on Twitch? You wish you had time to upload vids every day? Oh, don't worry about it, Anna. Look, honestly, you do fantastic content, and no matter what, people are always going to be there and be ready for your content no matter what. So don't stress about that. You do fantastic work, and whatever you put up is going to get some looks, and one day it'll just start clicking and you can keep going. So don't stress about that, friendo. Just keep doing what you do. Uh, because you're very easy watching and listening, so it's good. It's good work. Just don't stress about that. I, I know you wish you do. You'll get there. You will. Trust me. It'll happen. One day you'll be uploading, like, and you'll be like, man, I wish I had a day off. <laughs> yeah, so it's you. Ah, oh, brilliant. Good job, Johnny. You just realized the time was right at 1 a.m. as well, Andrew. So you must be UK also. Ah, big A. Brilliant. Um, brilliant. Big A, we can um we can we can sort out stuff on Twitch then. Maybe do some combined farming sim Twitch stuff. That's what I was thinking, big A. Steven and Anna, I'm going to be honest, I haven't uploaded videos for ages. <laughs> I think I think I had a big gap, and then I did a farming sim one, and then I've had a big gap again. I just haven't had time. You get And honestly, sometimes you're just like, I just need, I just, I'm just not in the head. If your head's not in the game, yeah, you're okay. If your head's not in the game... There's no point in forcing an upload because you're only going to force something that you, re you would not regret, but you're kind of unhappy with. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't stress about it. Quality over quantity. And both of you, both of you do do fantastic quality over quantity. I know, Dan, I've been, every time I look at it, I'm like, I need to record um, AO Tennis 2. And I just haven't been able to get back to it. Once mum gets back, I'll be fine. I can get back and do a bit more um, AO Tennis 2 stuff. Right, I just want to do something down here if I can. I actually want to run these walls through here. I want 200% um, walls. Not really. Maybe I don't want to run those. Maybe I'll run these. Sure, we'll run these ones, I think. Hmm, there is a slight curve on there, isn't there? Gentle, gentle, gentle. Uh, yeah, we'll probably come up to this way, I think. Maybe like that way. We've got more farm in there, so we might go like that. In there. Uh, and then I'm going to come up to here. Hey, look at that. 
look at that. Everyone's joining the Twitch train. Yeah, well, <laughs> it is Stephen. It, it's it's sometimes it's easier just to jump on and live stream. Not only that, but I can I like the streaming because I like to game with everyone. When I'm playing by, I don't mind playing games by myself, but I like to game with people. So for me, yeah, I, I kind of I'll be honest. I do like to stream because I get I get everyone's input as well. Uh, and I get to, I get an idea of what you guys like and don't like and, and I can kind of um I don't know I can just play with you guys and get I don't know I just like it I don't mind I like recording stuff though don't get me wrong I do like recording stuff um, because sometimes I do just want to um do what I want to do but uh, I don't know I like the interaction I like I like to just um yeah it, it is easier but trust me. It's easier to fire up a live stream and just play and chat to you guys. It's not working. Ah, uh, Amy, were you not already following? Maybe you weren't. Yeah, yes, Big A. Because uh, what I'm looking at doing, Big A, is... Uh, I, you might have heard it already, uh, like I said. Actually, I don't want you up. I'm going to fade you down into the bushes there, I think. I'm just going to fade you off down into there. No, I'm not. You're just going to cut the trees out. Okay, I'm going to come up to here then. This is a big farm area, is it not? I just kind of want to cut you off over to there and be done with it. Then I can sort of... Um, this would be like all one big farming area. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm trying to extend to morning um, North America times. Just to sort of ex ex and expand, expand what I'm doing. Actually, give me the wheat. I'm gonna see if this works actually. Give me the trees for a second. I wanna put in like I wanna make I wanna put in a bit of an orchard here. So hang on a sec. Um give me that soil. I'll try and do something here. Yeah. I didn't live stream all the time and I just did uh, videos how would I ever get some of the hilarious jokes that you guys tell me <laughs> I don't have the I don't have the um, oh no which button is it that one <laughs> how would I get the hilarious jokes Right, give me, um, give me some trees. Oh, give me a tree. And how would you hear my singing? <laughs> BC comment section. <laughs> BC, how would I get your on the spot? Um, well, there we go. We're going, uh, maybe I do want to go that way. Hmm. I think I would prefer it this way. Yeah, we'll go that way. This is going to be tricky. Apple trees, please. No, that didn't work. Try that again. Try the brush strength down a touch for me, thanks.
You're not doing what I want you to do, so I'm just going to do, do away with that. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Will I? Give me that, thanks. Hello, Hankster. Where have you been, buddy? Buddy. Hey. Good, good. Ba 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 da ba ba. Yada yada. Yeah. Take the strike down for me and just do some. It's not working. I don't think I like that one. I probably prefer more like that, I think. Oh, no, that's horrible. That's a bit of dirt, I think. And then I'll just... I'll sort of just clean it up shortly here. One second. I just want to get a bit of a... Generalized, like... Track down there. And then give me back my, uh, give me back my paint here. That one, and then take the strength down, put that up. Put that up. Yeah, good. Okay, that's better. I like it. I kind of want to extend the, um, the apples over this side, on this, uh, on this kind of hill here. You come, I know, because we've, we've kind of just been letting things, and we haven't even been going fast. Actually, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Yes, well, Zero, I did say, you've been to an apple farm, and they let you pick, oh, and, and, drink, the, and drink the cider. Oh, apples, fresh apple cider. Hey, um, Zero, I would love to feature some of your stuff on the channel. If you would let us do a, a, a tour through one of your, one of your stuff, I'd, I'd happily do that. A bit of a... Now, it's probably... They've probably got a lot more grass in them, to be honest. Uh, but I'm choosing to do it dirt because it just breaks up how the farms look. I choose. I choose... I choose dirt. We're going to do it all the way up to there. And uh, probably I'll do something down there. I'll leave these trees there. I like those. Groovy bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This stream is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. Yeah, probably about to there. Yeah, and in fact, I'll get our uh, I'll get our color again. Just gonna spot that around the place like that. Then I'm gonna run a um, fake road here and like this uh, maybe I'm not maybe I'm not I'm gonna run it down here then
Yeah, I didn't think you would work like that. I'll just bring you to there. Bring you to there. Take you away. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. And I'll have to do some retaining in there. Um, okay. Last little bit. Let's get the apple trees back in. Get our single line. Make it a little bit bigger. That, uh, that didn't really line up, did it? Nice. We're just going to do something simple like that. All right, and that'll kind of blend up into there. Yeah, that's kind of got a nice look to it now. I like it. I like it. I like it. From a distance, it looks kind of cool. Oh, the old Somerset Cider. Hey, hey, hey. What about the old uh, Snake Bite? Hey, that's a, good, uh, that's a good UK drink. The old Snake Bite or the Venomous Snake Bite. Well, it's good to see this train's running really good, actually. Um, has it been delivering many um, tools? You are getting zero tools. I mean, zero machine parts. Uh, hmm? Got some here. Yeah, citrus hills. Okay, they're getting some. Not, not, not many, but they're getting some. Uh, you, on the other hand, are getting plenty of food. Is it cannibalizing what you're up to? Oh. Have we hurt these trains? I don't think we've hurt them. It's still running full. So now you're still okay. No, we've still got plenty of food. If anything, we need to get more grain down there. So this train here needs another needs another thingy on it. Right. And down here, I put the fence line down here, right? But I haven't finished off the fence line along there. Doing a lot of work down here today, but I've kind of wanted to do the work down here for a while, so I'm Actually, just enjoying this today. Or it is. Uh, hold you there. Now, I'm setting this back just a touch on purpose because what I'm actually going to do. Actually, oh, 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 camera. Damn, camera work. Let's just finish. Oh, crikey, that's like. Let's just finish this fence, like, yeah. And there. Finish. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for a moment. Um, don't mind the curve in it. That's fine. It won't, you won't even notice it really shortly. What I want to do here is something that I've done in previous times, and that's actually put the weeds in. Like such. I need the tall, I need something tall and inconspicuous. No. Yeah, a bit of the dry stuff there is okay. I need the tall. Is it this one? Maybe it is that one. Okay, give me strength down.
Okay, and then um, let's get the brush size up. And we'll just start um, this hillside here, which will probably remain just the same. We'll just plow in. Um, I'm not plow. We're not really plowing anything in, but we'll just sort of texturize that hillside through there a little bit uh, and some of that. Just to give it a bit of like, um, just to give it a bit of something, something through there. A little bit of something, something. And then down here. Okay. I'm going to paint these in as well. So we're going to go. Uh, I'm actually going to get a corn if I can. Corn. I don't know if I want corn now. Uh, you know, I'll leave it. I'll leave it because I do want it. I want it like right up against that though. And ideally, I probably should have um, should have put this in first. Ideally, should have put this in like that. And we'll say we go to about here. Bit of an odd shaped field. Must be one of the farming sim fields. Yes, um, I've been thinking lately, Big A. I haven't done any multiplayer. I mean, not multiplayer. I haven't done any live uh, farming sim streams lately. So I, I kind of want to get back into a little bit of that, to be honest. Okay. I don't mind leaving that random tree in there, to be honest. Okay. So we've got a bit of a, uh, bit of a thing down there. Right. Give me this. Okay. I love this part of the uh, game. Oh, do I have the assets? Please... Yes, I like that I put the assets in. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit early to have combine harvesters, but I don't care. Give me a big combine. Uh, actually, I don't want that. I want yeah, this one. Just a bit small. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, and then, uh, yeah, that'll do that. Me the tractor. Gotta have a tractor. Just just doing tractor things. Just do it. Just do a tractor thing there. Give me a shed, because I love these I love these sheds. Especially like like about here. That shed works perfectly there. Brilliant. Uh give me one of these big things down along the trains over here. One of these old uh one of these old timey looking things and I'll probably just delete delete that tree and leave the others around it it'll be fine where do you get the farm stuff Anna says I know it's brilliant isn't it the farm stuff <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna farm up that eventually as well and probably farm all this up uh just to incorporate it but 
you start to get a really nice sort of organic looking little farm set out in here when you start to um, use these assets. The asset here, it's, um, yeah. Just, uh, what is that farm asset? It's, I don't know if I've, I don't think, I don't know if I updated the mod list to have the farm set in it. think it's this one me and the farmer pack uh, I think it is I've used this I use this farm thing and everything I think it's a brilliant one I think it's brilliant this this uh, this pack uh, I'm gonna get another combine just sitting actually you know what I am gonna do uh, I want to get one of those tractors. Tractor number two. I want up over here. Like that, right? Uh, did I have a cart? Yes. I'm going to just fudge something here to make it look like it's a thing. Like that. Oh, I've moved. You really get ham. I just want to fudge this around like that. Right? I'm just going to do that. I want to put another big shed up over here if I can. Uh, with this because it just sort of it sort of fluffs out these truck stops a little bit too Right just like that just and then you just start plonking some buildings around the place and uh, Yep You get yourself a nice. Oh, you know what works well is a nice big water tower now uh, No to terrain. Let's get a nice big water tower now the thing I do with this water tower I Don't like all the cagey stuff underneath it. So I actually go ahead and sink it down underneath that and then I just literally paint dirt that is strength down oh cool get it got it good uh give me one of those if you can Take the strength down. That's not taking the strength down, no, game. You haven't really taken the strength at all. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, I missed a Jake way up. Van Ham is Bob Ross with Transport Fever 2. The commentary on... <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of an old Bob... What, what did Bob Ross used to say? Oh, uh, crap. What did he say? Uh, what was his favorite? Tiny little... Tiny little... I forget. Oh, yeah. You got to Bob Ross the map, okay? You got to get your Bob Ross on in this game because if you don't, you don't get some cool decorative stuff. Where's that char? Oh, you know what? It'll be brilliant. Let's ride this train for a sec. Oh, look at this. See, it's come along well, I think. Happy little trees. That's it, Anna. That's it. Can we get some happy little trees? <laughs> That's right, Stephen. That's why I live stream, because I love you guys. I'm just catching up with chat now. Um, sorry, Zero. What happened to the narrator? chap he voiced the beginning of the first few episodes yet he's vanished <laughs> i know he's zero i can't i uh, he went on holidays and he never came back did you was that enjoyable for people or was that annoying because i think for some people the narrator was annoying i just it was a it was a way just to mix up transport fever not that transport fever 2 needs a mix up because people watch the game because they love trains and they love because, let's be honest, when we're all younger, we have a fascination with model railroads, okay? We all have a fashion with model railroads, especially when we're younger. And I used to love going to car shows. And in the car shows here in Australia, they would have a section for the train, um, the train people that actually used to take their full 
train sets that were the size of a room and put them in the car shows. And um, I, I would spend hours in there just looking at the train, looking at the detail, looking at the, at the map. That's why I love this game so much, because it gives you the freedom to be able to do that without having to go and build the full model rail, rail set and, and all the decorative stuff, which is expensive. Holy moly, it's expensive to do that model railroad stuff. So for me... This game really satisfies that uh, that need that I used to have as a kid about with those model railroads. Happy little trees. <laughs> Let's just tap through this bit for a sec. I want to get, I want to get past the farm area. I want to go past the farms, man. Oh, sorry, Dan Zilla. So a small request: if you could stream. All the zeros to all the zero uh, to zero nine hundred Thursday Queensland time. And then just go straight through, Dan. So basically what you're saying is you want me to do a 24 hour live stream while you're on the plane. Also, Dan, how quickly did that come around that you're going on holidays? Amazing, friendo. I bet you so. I bet you guys are both looking forward to it. I bet Jody's really excited for it too. How is Jody, by the way? Tell her that we said hello. No, we miss her. Oh, this is brilliant. This has come up absolutely brilliant. I'm going to do Johnny's favorite thing here and get a screenshot. I don't know where from. Zero. If you want to see a good screenshot, check out Zero's screen. That tree is really in my way, but I like the tree there regardless. Maybe I need to come forward just a little bit. This train is... Ad Maybe... Uh, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the um, freight train to come through. We are a bit excited, but also uh, we don't believe it's happening. Jody's well. Oh, brilliant. Oh, I bet, I bet you both. Oh, it's so exciting. It's so nice to go on holidays. All right, while, that, while we're waiting for that train. Okay. I don't want that. You. Where are you coming? Oh, wait, you're just here. Only crap sandwich. This is the one I want. Holy crap, it's a crapple. Uh, oh, gee. Remember when Peter Griffin said that? Holy crap, it's a crapple. <laughs> Instead of holy crap, it's a crapple. <laughs> oh, Peter. I love Seth MacFarlane. Okay, that's a good... I love this train, by the way. Oh, look at all the maroon. Is there something going on here with all this maroon? Johnny's favorite thing, screenshot time. So, yeah, Anna, you're saying that these are the husks? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's not the actual crop. It don't matter. Look at the corn up close. They <laughs> crop. <laughs> yeah, I can't. Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is too. Where's all the con, man? Ooh, Steven. Don't talk. I love my state of origin, friendo. Uh, right. Stephen, I hope, are you a New South Wales? Are you a Blues supporter, Stephen, or a Maroon supporter? Because you're down, you're down south, aren't you? What's going on with my sleeve here? What's going on? I'm all tangled up. You're a Blues, aren't you, Stephen? Bloody God, that, that answers that. Hey, Stephen, I got one thing to say to you when it comes to state of origin. 
don't wash your jersey this year because it's gonna have the I'm gonna say I'm gonna say a naughty word here. Don't wash your jersey this year, Stephen, because it's gonna have the shit rinsed out of it. <laughs> and I don't swear very often, but I'm passionate about my Queensland team. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got planes! The Junker! I'm only joking, Stephen. It'll be, it'll be, a, this year's probably going to be the toughest state of origin that we've had in a long time. There's a lot of good New South Wales teams playing at the moment. It's going to be, a t this year's, this year's, um, <laughs> subscribe now Stephen uh, do you go for are you a Canberra Raiders uh, fan do you go for the Canberra Raiders or who's your team This, um, the only thing about this, it looks too clean, that fence. I don't like that. Um. It's better, something like that. Yeah, you were St. George a long time ago, but none now. The old Dragoons, hey? One of my uh, one of my good Navy, Navy mates is from Wollongong, so he he's a mad Dragon supporter. What's that? Hey, Stephen, what's the temperature down there today? It must be bloody cold down there. Canberra gets so cold. I can tell you on the coast, it's uh, 27 degrees today. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? 27 digs. Uh, I'm just going to leave that there like that. But that's a horrid... Oh, this is... Uh, this is a horrid mystery here. Yeah. I could be really cheeky here and blend this brick wall with that. So I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the same up here. Except I want you actually about that height. And I, I don't like it. I actually don't like it. Hate that. Hate that. Hate it. I hate it. I hate it.
It looked like chocolate mousse, Johnny. It looked like actual chocolate mousse. Uh, but the thing I can do here... Uh, I don't like any of it, actually. I like the brick. I don't like having to step it like that. I hate it. I hate it all. I hate it all. It's why I use these, right? It's why I use these a lot. And I'll show you. These collision off ones. I use these a lot because... You can get a you can get a half decent look out of them. I just don't like how clean they look um, half the time. That's all. It's the only thing I'll say about that. Uh, but the thing is, I can get a longer length out of it, so I can just do that, which is probably better in the long run anyway. Uh, and this road's not really utilized by most vehicles. It's it's more a decorative road anyway, so I can I can get away with doing something like this. Okay. More and more so. And then um, we'll do the same in here. I, I didn't want to use these, but I, I'm going to. Because they just make it look a little bit neater. We're all about the neat. Okay. Holy 66 million. I can go and blow it. I bet I could spend that all at once. <laughs> I'm actually going to get you. Ah. Oh. Yeah. We've got to square you off, I think. You're not working otherwise if I don't square you off. That'll be better like that. Give me the uh, 10, no, the 20. And we'll just finish it up here. Right, we'll just finish that wall there. Sure. You're nearly a billionaire in 1930. Holy snapping duckfish, friendo. That's a lot of money. A squillion gajillionaire. Oh, all right. We do have... Uh, I thought this was an animal pen down here. Oh, no. Here's the animals over here. Well, I feel rather sheepish. Low 20s today in Canberra and sunny. Just right. Yeah, it's sunny all around the country I saw today. Although, um, pretty sad what happened. Uh, how terrible what happened in Bondi. And what, how terrible what just happened in Western Sydney last night. Absolutely horrendous. Don't know what the heck's going on, but it's just horrible. Absolutely. Horrible. <laughs> you need these uh, farm assets. 
Another reason why you live in the bush, mate. Yeah, definitely. 100% agree. I, I Like, I live in a suburb area, but it's kind of rural as well. I got horse farms over there, cow farms up that way. Um, but I've also got heaps of schools around here and heaps of other. It's, it is like a busy suburb. There's like full shopping centers, but it's kind of a rural, rural, rurally suburb. And I've got custard apple farms, um, turf farms for like, there's actual grass farms just up the road. Uh, and you need these, uh, you need these, uh, farm assets. You made a video where you use buildings vaguely shaped like barns because you couldn't find any. Yeah, just, uh, I don't know how I found it. I think I just typed in farm assets and I, or a farm, and I just found what I wanted. Don't dance me in. Um, ba ba da ba da ba ba do 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 Lots of starry starry night. We need a fountain, Johnny. We need Johnny's uh, famous water fountain in here. I'm not going to go. I want it to kind of look like they once had, they once had like this, the entrance to their little farm down here all nice, but I kind of want it to look a little bit run down and sort of uh, done for a little bit as well. Yeah, that'll do. I think, uh, I think I've done enough farm work for today. I'm going to fill out all of that. I just want to see how the town grows with that now. This seemed to be doing okay. Holy moly, we might need to get some more vehiculars down. Oh, no, hang on. No, that's dropping the food off. Okay, so that's good. How are we doing tools-wise? How many you got on the deck down here? You don't have that many. We need to get you more timber. Right, let's work on getting these guys timber. One second, I want to blow my nose. You guys enjoy... Uh... What can we enjoy? Enjoy busyness that is this area for a second it's a bit of a hogwash mesh i i i hate all of this I hate all of that i've got to redo this whole area down here i think all right back in a second that's the wrong blow my nose Okay, thank you. Second treat for the day. He's been a good boy today. He's can't panic. Uh, uh, uh. Now that would be cool. Trucks that kick up dust. I don't know, that would be cool to see. 
Uh, okay. How are we looking down here? We're looking pretty good. You know what I haven't checked? We haven't checked vehicles for a while. We are in 1920. We did just get planes. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, we could chuck a little... We could chuck a cargo port in. This whole farm area needs to be done down here. I'm going to extend this farm down across that waterway there. Now, we haven't been over here. We've got to get timber. We have to get more timber into here. We currently have a lot sitting on the deck here that this train is carrying. However... This train makes good money. I feel like we need two of these trains on it. Maybe that will do it. Look at this old chugger doing its work. Moreau, something going on here. <laughs> There's a theme here. Forgot that that was Moreau. I think Moreau just looks good on trains, that's all. Yeah, you just run that single stint, don't you? That's why. Yeah. 36 on the deck. And that train's over here. I honestly think this train, we could we could use the second one of these. But this train, actually, I think we need to upgrade it. The MZA583, is that what we're using? Okay. We're using you. If I go for something not as crazy. Like this. We upgrade you to that. And um, what I'm going to do, when this gets down the other end, I'm going to double it up. Let's get this thing down to the other end, and I'm going to get a second one of these trains on board. That's going to increase brain uh, production and maneuverability and maneuvering, and it's going to increase the timber that's going to get down here. If it jams up the line too much, we will look at importing timber from somewhere else. PC, you know, if hair wore red and white stripes, we would play Where's Waldo. Oh, I went past it. I used to, you know, actually, funny, funny stat, funny thing. We don't say Waldo here in Australia. We call him Wally. Where's Wally? Uh, and in fact, in fact, In fact, in fact, in, in fact, I was gifted this by someone once. It's a collector's. It's a collect. It's gone a bit see-through because all that's gold. Uh, where's Wally? That's we call it. Where's Wally in Australia? We don't say where's Wally, and it's got all these uh, all these uh, different books in here. Oh, you can't even see them. The book there. There's heaps of them. How funny does that look? 
It looks see-through. <laughs> How cool does that look? That's crazy. Imagine getting a book that was see-through like that. <laughs> Where is he, guys? Where is he? Are you, are you expecting me to change shirts? No. I just wanted to show you that we are, that it's called uh, Where's Where's Wally here in Australia. Not Where's Waldo. Yeah, I was given this a long time ago. Uh, it's good because I, I use it, um, the nephews and nieces and stuff play with this. Uh, we play with that. Uh, are we down the other end? Oh, crap, it's come full circle. Uh, well... I wanted to actually, uh, pull another train out. Well, actually, I can. What are you? You're... One, uh, manage the vehicle. You've got a 192 capacity, and we're using the, uh, the what? Let's say. Was it this? It was the SB06? SB106, yep. Okay, and 196. Right, well, let's pull that from here. I could double it up, but we won't. We'll add that, and we'll go cargo. Uh, I think you're running the Navy. Sorry. Sorry, my mic was a bit far away. He's behind the ball. <laughs> Dan, get out. <laughs> Go on holidays. <laughs> There's the door. Oh, bloody Dan. Between you and BC, I'm going to have a very early retirement. Did I say 196 capacity? That seems quite long. 290 meters. Yeah, that's it. Uh, and what's your line again? Stroud grain two. Stroud Green. Oh, crap. What depot was it in now? There it is. Set you on Stroud Green 2. Go! Oh, it's going out the other end. Brilliant. We get to go the other way this time. That's a mighty cool looking train. It's the 101. <laughs> you go to Orlando on the 17th. That's right. It's going to be brilliant. What is this? Is this so it makes the cooling a lot better? Because are these are cooling towers. So this chamber here looks like a it looks like a release. Looks like it's got a like a release system in it or some kind of like cooling dual cooling stack or something, is it? For the boiler. Is that right? I don't know a lot about train engineering. But two two twin bell things on it, I would assume that's for double cooling or something, is it? And then there, there's the pressure release there. The steam pressure valves. Hmm. Come on, get out of this station, please. Anchor, don't lick your paws, please, buddy. 
poor licking mate. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Uh, ooh. Nope. 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 I like to look at the trains now and then, like this. That track's terrible up there. Yucky poo. What the heck is... Oh, is it... It's, it's got a kink in it. Yuck. All right, don't look at it. It's going to make me angry. Trying to get a good spot to sit. I can't get a, a good spot to sit in. This track's a bit bendy through here. I think we should fix that too. I might fix up a lot of these tracks. Zero, every, ever since you spoke about, we spoke about making the tracks look more realistic. I can't, I look at my tracks down. I'm like, oh, I hate them all. Dan, I know, yucky poo. Yucky poo poo. Although chocolate mousse, mm. <laughs> the yucky poo. Look at the little old passenger steamer there. There's like what two people? There's the captain and one person on it. <laughs> Safe to say, uh, the old passenger boats don't really do great. Yeah, I hate this. I hate the entrance and exit to this stuff. I've got. To, we're gonna have to rework all this. It's not today, but in another stream, we're gonna rework this whole station and the way it way it works because it's just it, in the future. It's just not gonna work. Don't look at the weeds here. <laughs> Don't look at the weeds, Stephen. Hurt your eyes. Doth my eyes deceive me. I see weeds everywhere. No. Got a little truck. I love those little trucks, by the way. They're cool. We're going to race it through the tunnel. We'll see where the truck comes out compared to us. Watch for the truck. Uh, oh, we, oh, we beat it. There it is back there. <laughs> Train over vehicle. Yeah, this is all getting reworked. I hate it all. I hate it all. I hate it all. I might reverse the actual stuff. Actually, I'm just going to fix it all. I've already got an idea of probably how we're going to fix that. In fact... I hate it so much we might actually fix it today. <laughs> uh, I don't like the way the tracks work through there and it's coming into the future. It's just going to be a congestive nightmare going through there. We're going to have to get some nasal spray, Anna. We're going to have to get some um, antihistamines for it. Uh, we're gonna have to get everything basically to unclog what's gonna happen there. It's already it's already a clogged up nightmare. 
<laughs> Steven, there aren't enough hours today to fix that. <laughs> like a pike. Yep. Look at this bloody roller coaster too. I don't think I'm happy with this. I'm going to have to make a more gradual climb. Not that it's bad. It's just the hill there looks a bit funny. You know what? Maybe I'll spend some of my money just to fix some of this right now. I can fix that uh, that rampiness by doing that. That might just take out a little bit of that. By doing that. I don't care that it's rinsing the money. Show me the money, honey. What it might actually do is just take out the fact that that... That, yeah, that looks less severe already. Funny what perception can do, right? Funny, funny about perception. That looks a lot better or instantly. Rinse the budget. Fix it up. This poor little farm down here needs, um, needs a lot of work. It's going to stick with that train for a sec because it's, um, Fifty, you remind me you never let you see my builds. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. I'm just very picky. Uh, I just don't. I, it's just I'm fussy. I'm a fuss. I'm a fuss pot. Uh, and I really don't like. It's really funny, you know, when we were playing City Skylines 2 the other day, Anna, you were talking about how there were parts of that game and this game you'd like for the road working system. And I've been exactly the same. Look at this. That's, I don't like that. That can get fixed. That's okay. Um, how much timber's on the deck here? Oh, no timber at all. Um, right. This is not going to work. sandwich here comes the timber train now need more timber here Where are we pulling timber from, people? We've got a, uh, we've got Lion's Rock. If we can get some wood down to here. Huh. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time we go. Check, we got the, uh, we got the Schneider PV2 now, which is quite cool. Oh, there it is. We got the crocodile. Once you smile at a crocodile. Uh, the Dombrushk. That's our little, um, whoa, our little mansion down here. You know what? We're going to have to do a little bit of work down here to our mansion. A bit of decoration. Uh, all right. Where have we got, where have we got spare timber at the moment? Up here, we've got a lot of timber. No, they're making tools. Hmm. We've literally got these two. And we're exporting timber there, and we're exporting timber here. There is a lot of timber on the deck here. Right, that train that we just put on for the grain. Is going to get repurposed. Yep. I'm going to do a, a timber, a timber straight up to here line. Hey, yo, buddy, old pal, old boy. Can I please have you on line two? You're going to shoot straight up here. Can you get up there, actually? You should be able to. You might have to jog straight up the passenger service. I do have that bit of track there. 
then we got put in. Right. Uh, right. Um. How the heck are we going to do this? I'm gonna get you to come slightly up one. That's that's really steep. That's better. You're kind of coming big back in over this way. Yeah, okay. So let's give this a different style bridge out here. Let's give it... Um, oh. Yeah. I'll fix this up to make it look like it's not meant to be like that. that just like that right get the weeds out before Steven reaches through the screen and grabs me right uh, now the trouble with this road through here it's really kind of doesn't work for us but that's okay i'm gonna worry about the track first then worry about the road second now you're a very very low bridge there do i care i don't really that's better that's a little bit better That's a big bridge. How do we get 91 million already? Are we just making good money these days or something? That's not meant to be that. That's a wobble. That's a wobbly. That's a wobbly woo. All right, we've got our end point. We've got our start point. Let's not get the wobbly woos involved here, please. Now, yes, you are there like that. Better. Better. Wobbly woo. Wobbly woo. I think I like the lighter color. Uh, I want more of a rusted look, though. Yeah, maybe something like that. Yeah, more rusted, please. Because it's out over the water, so I want the bridge to look a little bit used and old. Yeah, that's much nicer. Yeah, okay, I can handle that. A little bit roller coasty, is it? Oh no, it's just it's got a slight uh, slight curve in it. <laughs> no, it's not. It's it's rusted. Look, it's rusty. It's not maroon. It's rusty. I'm not going to do that to you again today, Stephen. Don't worry, friendo. I'll try. I won't do that again. <laughs> now, the cool thing is I can actually come off this bend now, which is kind of going to be better, to be honest. It's going to make for a much better approach. Yeah, that's nice.
Okay, and this road here is actually going to now have just, I think, a little bridge over the top of that to get it over. Uh, so what I'll do, actually, we could put a, uh, I could just put a, I could just put a uh, level crossing there. That should be fairly flat. I reckon we can level cross that. Let's give it a go. Level crossing it is. I love, I actually like level crossings in the game. I actually like, especially in towns, I like the look of them. Lovely. Tunnel. Any lower to breathe the bridge, bridge in the Baltimore? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the bridge in the Baltimore. It was converted to a tunnel. Mm. Well, this is neat. This is neater of that. This is just transport fever two, and we've got a nice. It's like you got a, It's got a nice gradual um, pitch to it, which I actually don't mind that. And then it uh, comes in here, and uh, it comes underneath. Ah, oh. we're gonna. Oh no, we're gonna have to fix this, aren't we? Down the other end. Yeah, that'll work there. When you come down, you come down, come down, come down, come down. Now, this is where I, for so long, I haven't been, I haven't actually, I haven't said to this train over here, hey, train, you can actually head over to there. Oh, because this all kind of dips through here as well. The best thing we can do is probably... Just do that. Yeah. I don't always like doing that. I mean, I could, oh, uh, well, actually, I could probably feed these. Uh, I'm okay with it switching down there. Honestly, I was thinking about just taking that and taking it straight across to there. But I think I'm okay with just a switch down here. It's kind of like, if anything, I'll probably get you to wait there because I want this one to clear out of the way quicker, uh, which means I don't want you here. Okay. Right. Let's try that now. So you've got there at station. At station, this one. You're going to be coming in on platform two. You're going to hit that. And then you're going to head back. Then you're going to head down here. It's like the game hates me. Yeah, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That gotcha. We gotcha. Now we're going to go uh, the timbery color. Uh, and the cool thing is, the cool thing is, right? 
You're getting six of six. Oh, we still only got one place down here in Hankston that's getting fuel. <laughs> yeah, it's still that building. Okay. Well, I was going to bring fuel back on this train, but we'll, we'll hold out. Or maybe it still will. Okay, so that train that we are... Give me this for a sec. This is now going to be called um, Hank. Hank to Stroud Plank. Plank. Okay, Hank to Stroud Plank. Cool bananas. Now, I'm going to get this train and say, hey, buddy, guess what? You're now on. Uh, yeah, manage line. You're now on Hank to Plank. Hank to Stroud Plank. Okay. No, wait, hang on. I want to edit your line to Hank to Stroud Plank. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Okay, good. So you're now on that. Now we get to do that ride. It's just here. It's just picked up a heap of food. It's probably going to go straight ahead and head to Hank now. Let's get on board. Let's get on board, team. Shut up, Wesley. I like our rusted bridge. I think it'll be good. Yeah, that... Uh, I struggle hard to try and build a tunnel in that game. That's why I would I would really love... the tun I would really love their tunneling system out of this game. And, the, and just the way you can... I don't know. It just seems like... The road seems simple to put in here, yet I love all the... Like you said, Anna, I love all the features that you can get in City Skylines 2 with all the stuff you can do to the roads. But I love how easy Transport Fever 2 make it to put roads and rail in. Mind you, the rails look a little bit more realistic in this game. So do the trains. Let's be honest. We'll go it two times. This is a bit slow. Now we should switch here. Yep. And then dive down here. Whoa! What's all this dipping? What's all this dipping, dodging, ducking, diving, and dipping? Congestion at the other end. I love I love the tunneling system in this game. I hate the tunneling system in City Skylines 2. Look, I think I spent probably an hour in City Skylines 2 the other day tearing my hair out in frustration at that game. It's definitely a game for people that don't have high blood pressure. <laughs> but I'll admit I this I just love building the cities in City Skylines too. I love I love the progression. I love I just I think it's cool. I, I enjoy it still. So I'm still gonna play it. I'm a sucker for punishment, what can I say? Ever put a penny on a track? We don't have pennies here. No. It really is it is fifty, it is. Uh, does it squash it to the track? Is that what happens? 
pennies are just made out of copper, aren't they? Look at all the people down here. <gasps> cool. Have you got a picture of one we can see? Put it in the Discord so we can see it. You did that 50 years ago? Oh, I'd love to see a picture of it. Cool. Cool. It comes that old 10 wheeler. I love the 10 wheelers so much. Come on, off we go. Oh, we're taking oil too. Oh no, I need to tell you just to take timber, buddy. This is a very heavy freight, uh, freight lane now, isn't it? We'll go it two times again. Here goes the old Nelson. Oh, I love this slight little curve up and then gradual down. That's kind of genteel. It's got a genteel run. Yes, the bridge. You can see it's rusty. Not maroon. Rusty. What is this roller coaster we have going on here? Or is it just because it's on a bend? It looks roller Oh, maybe. It's very deceiving. Bends can really look like uphills, but they're not. The old, uh, the old British Victorian pennies that were still around in 1971 used to... Um, I need to stretch out into an oval shape. Yeah, look, we had pennies in Australia. But, um, before my time. I'm going to have to do a bit of bridge work here, I think. Auto save, thanks. Tree. Bloody trees. Trees get me in every game. Farming sim. Transport fever 2. They burn down in city skylines causing mass fires. My lack of uh, cabooses and brake vans uh, bothers you. Where would you like me to get some more mooses and... Um, and brake systems for it. <laughs> Hello, Zero. Good to see you back, by the way. Have you just been lurking or did you, did you just get back? Because I think I asked you something before, but you were gone. Kabusi Moosey. I do, I, there is that mod you can get where it's got realistic speeds, where actually it's, it's the train starts slowing down a long time before you get into, um, you've been gone. 
yeah, before you get into the station, the train starts slowing down a long time before that. It's kind of cool, but we're already doing the one-way mod, so running both of them is only just going to lose us money. It'll be a mod... It's actually probably not a bad mod to use on the next... <laughs> so what you're saying between you and zero steven you're talking about geese and moose geese and moose so i've got to go to the mods and get geese and moose because steven and zero said it no i'll have a look at it i'll have a look into it yes the next playthrough we're gonna do right I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to keep it a surprise. In fact, we might kick it off. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What are you doing, friendo? Where the heck are you going? Clearly, it says go straight ahead. He's quitting his job. His job. He's at it. <laughs> no, no, that's that's for another playthrough. Zero. I've, I've, um, we might do it next, just to break up. I want to start what we wanted. What I want to do next for Transport Fever Two. Uh, your map that you're gonna make is also that'll be coming as well, but. Coming the next kind of thing I want to do. I'm just going to leave it as a surprise. Because it's going to be really good doing it as a live stream. Uh, because it means we're going to be able to put it this way. All I'm going to say is when I do the live stream of this. We'll be building it together. That is it. You can let your minds run wild there, but that's all I'm going to say. Is this a standoff? I'm, uh, I'm getting rid of this. Oh, that's why. Okay, I'm not getting rid of that. Put that back. Uh, uh, and this is why I hate this area. Right, you, buddy, just back up for me for a sec. Just BB back the truck up. Pause. I'm going to get you to, um... I'm going to do something here I hate. That's just so I can get my trains queuing. Whoa, no, no, whoa, 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 hey, buddy. You come back. <sighs> That's not going to work through there in the future. But I put a signal in there. Maybe I can get. Yeah, I don't want that happening too many times, do I? This is why I want to fix all this. The, the thought process for down here is I'll actually be running a lot of these trains this way. Counterclockwise into the station and out. And then, yeah, so I'm going to beef up this station, redo all of this, and then we run some of the trains around that way and some of the ones back that way. So we'll be running counterclockwise and clockwise through here. 
and that should helpfully hopefully helpfully that should help it and hopefully um clear up a lot of these issues we're having so that's the plan going forward so i'm going to rip out pretty much i might even redo the bridge because i'm unhappy with the bridge as well so i might rip out from back here all the way down cut it from here cut all that and tear all that up and redo it now that we've got a hundred million in the bank Uh oh. It's a standoff. Imagine if the game had a feature where you are dumb and don't put signal trains crash and you lose money and get lawsuits from passengers. I would love that. <laughs> put airport in. Well. I thought about it. We've got the little we've got the little air strips now we can do. We do have the ability. We could fly people. We could um uh, we could how about we put an airport in to finish off today and we can do it as a little like um where can we do it? We could do it from up here. We could get people out of Burger Hill. Let's do an airport up here. And we'll fly them down. Wow. We'll fly them down over to here. Because you want it to be a decent airport. People want to come on holidays down to Citrus Hills and Jukin, don't they? Probably not. The Daimler. Love it. Oh, the Vickers Victoria. How fun. Uh, what if we put a little airport up here and fly it somewhere? That, uh, that sure rinsed the budget a bit. Oh, over the town too. They'll hate that. Maybe we can come that way. Then it goes over Burger Hill. No, I'd rather it come over this way. I told you I could spend all the money at once. But they'll probably hit that mountain there. We'll have to check it. Only 30 million rinsed. <laughs> yeah, it's called money laundering. Okay. <laughs> I've, got, I've got to watch it. I've got to cycle it back through. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Let's fly to Runcorn. Poor Runcorn stuck up here by themselves. Yes. Let's get Runcorn an airport. Let's get him a airport. Okay. Okay. Watch me rinse some more money. It's quite lumpy and bumpy, isn't it? Bit like me. Bit lumpy and bumpy. But this random gas station too. Where is this going to go? I need to, I need to measure it up. Measure it up. Okay. Maybe it should sit just out here. There's 12 million for that. Oh, whoa, whoa, I thought I put in two then. That was lucky. Lucky. This is the way we rinse the money. <laughs> rinse the money. <laughs> rinse the money. Okay. 
Who needs all that money anyway? Much better to spend it and have fun. Okay. Uh, we're literally just going to use dirt roads out here still. We're still in the dirt road phase of life. I don't know what you think that's about. That's not a thing. Uh, it will, however. It will. We will get a nice little... Hmm. Oh, that's what the problem is. Okay, because I'm running curved. Uh, we don't have roundabouts back in these days. They only had squareabouts. The old squareabouts back. Sure. If anything, it probably should have been off here, shouldn't it? Like that. Probably should have been like that. I'll leave it. We live. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> but -da 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 -da. how about we run a tram system out here too? How's that sound? Sounds good. Thanks. I thought so too. If I get you as close as I can there, you might give me what I want. Although you might also not. Ah, oh, you give me what I want. Well, we can do some decorative stuff out here. We got a lot, to, a lot of work to do to run corn. Seventy-four million. That's okay. It's okay. It's that. That's just because I spent it. That's not actually what we're losing. It'll it'll fix up. Trust me. Trust me. We'll be fine. I'll go a bit of two times. Get the money back up. The money will be back up, team. Don't worry. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get over here and fix that up. I've done all the the heavy the heavy hard work is done. Right. The heavy money loss money loss is done. Yeah, nice. Okay, that works. Uh, we're literally just going to do... Um, oh, no. Actually, this one should probably have one of these too. Because we're going to be picking up from there and from there. New Mills and uh, Burger Hill. So we'll do a bit of a feature here, will we? Something like this. What the heck's that about? Yeah, I thought that was the case. I had two on top of each other. Okay, that's good. Now I don't have two on top of each other. Uh, what? At Burger Hill? I think you have put down, put two down, the entrance at uh, Burger has one edge now. Oh yeah, I got rid of it. I'm actually going to move that a bit close. I'm going to... Uh... Hmm. 
<coughs> Excuse me. Water in my throat. Breathing it down. It's... Oh, I'm going to have to leave you here. People are just going to have to walk across the road. All right. Deal with it, people. Deal with it. Now, this one here, I can actually get a cool little building for. A little cafe for people to eat at. Now, yeah. uh, oh, we're going to need quite a bus service out there, aren't we? That's quite a bus trip. Uh, so a downtown, downtown service, like downtown hub. No, I think you're better off doing this, to be honest. Downtown. Come and do a pickup. Poor old new mill is not very big, is it? Holy bridge, Batman. Uh, you can have a bridge, but you can have something maybe a little bit nicer. Maybe something with bridge pillars. Maybe not. Yep. Yep. Uh, you got some bridge pillars to go along with that? I guess not. I guess we'd have to put our own in. So I'm not going to have that. That's a ridiculous, that's a ridiculous road. Okay, lovely. Right. Okay, we're going to go, um, by the way, money's on the bounce back. Money's on the bounce back, team. We're okay. Now, I want you to come into there, but I then want um, to do this. So, when you've come through there, I then want you to uh, come out and go that way. You come out. Can you really not... Uh... Oh, wait. That's why. My bad. Try that again. Yeah, that's better. Okay, I didn't need that. That was my bad. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm more inclined to keep these that blue color. I like the blue color just for passenger the passenger line. Mills Road getting an airport before it gets anything else, and they're the smallest town getting around. So we're just going to call this Mills. Uh, Mills. Uh, what is that? New Mills. New. Um, New Mills. New Mills, um, airline, bus, New Mills airline bus. This, on the other hand, <clears throat> I would like to probably do some trams again. I feel like this is a town big enough for a tram service that will look kind of cool. 
Burger Hills, oh, we probably should have gone that way, but that's okay. We'll come downtown. It's a little bit noisy. I don't care. We'll actually upgrade that to be those roads. Perfect. Perfect. Um, can I upgrade you to be just that? I cannot. I cannot. You will forever be the dirt road. Ah, well. We'll fix it later. <laughs> what have you missed? I only spent $78 million, Johnny. Blow it. Blow it during some terrain and putting in a couple of cruddy, cruddy airports. That's about it. I didn't miss much. Uh, how long have, how long have you been since you've been gone? We've done all of this down here. This beautiful farm work down here, which came up nice. We've put in this today, which looks really good. Uh, and it's working well. We've, um, we put in this, um, we put in this rusty bridge down here because it's now got a timber train on it from down here. Which apparently this train's taking everything now. Holy making money, Batman. Does that mean we've increased, um... Yes, brilliant. We've increased the amount of timber being delivered, so that's really good. It means we can pump out more, um, more, more machine parts, so that's good. That's working well. Right, let's come up a treat. So in true ham form, um, we decided to blow the budget. And put in some planes. About... An hour and a half. Yeah, so I've pretty much just blown the budget. And we're putting in some trams. We're putting in a bit of a... Uh, we're putting in some trams out here. A bit of cross-country trams, which is kind of exciting, I think. We're actually going to put the tram um, building out here, too. Uh, I'll make a bit of a tram work. The tram works. Okay, I need to flatten off a bit of area. Can't have a tram works out here like this. Is it, oh, that could sit up here. More money wasting. Inbound. Okay, you get this nice little cliff edge along here, which I actually don't mind that. And then we can actually uh, make this a bit of a feature out here. I'll actually spin you this way. I can do a nice big tram um depot yard up here. Can I get you straight, please? Straight relative to the um, airport. That's pretty good. Now, I know I can, use exp uh, I can use expansions there, so maybe I'll go from, like, here. Now, getting that into there is going to be the trouble, unless I can get you. Oh, that's okay. Brilliant. We'll do, like, a bit of a turnaround thing here. Because uh, I'll put some buildings in and stuff. Once again, just do some building stuff. And I'll do make it look like there's a bit of a, um, a yard for them to go in. So, to get the yard look... Give me the dip down for a sec. Take this right down. That might be too low. But it might be okay as well. Okay, and then this little dip down in here. What I normally do is I put a cup. I, I make it look like our, our work pit. Right, so I'll put some like stuff in there and... Uh, 
and I'll have basically yeah, you'll see when I do it anyway it'll make sense okay it'll look like a yard for trams okay line new line Your, however, gonna come out that way. So after new mills. Yep. Cool. Oh. Good. You can be blue as well. Why not? Is that blue? Sure. That's gonna be called um, new uh, rail to air. New Mills Rail to Air. No, what is this? this? Is Burger Hill, isn't it? Burger Hill. Track to Air. No, track. I want. I want something like um. Rail to Air Connect or something. Something like that. I don't know. Rail to Air. On. To Ram. Something, something, if you guys can think of something better. Airlink? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I wanted something like Burger Hill. Maybe we could go like, gosh, can't spell today. Light rail. Airlink. We'll just go with that. Burger Hill, light rail, airlink. Uh, buy some trams for that. Buy vehicles. We got some new trams, by the way. Got the uh, the old cargo ones. Where were the new ones that came in? Uh, it wasn't that, I thought. We've got the Peter Witt streetcar, which looks pretty cool. We could just run two of these, I think, for the moment. Two? Sure. Set them on. Line. Burger Hill Light Rail Airlink. Um, oh, look. We've got a blooming truck thing here. Give me some buses, please. Now, we can use the old Daimler deck seat car, and we'll get two of those. Not that we'll probably need two, but you're going to go on New Mills. New Mills. Ah, uh, back here. New. New Mills Airlink. Okay, and then um, last but not least. Oh, wait. <laughs> How about you get these guys a, uh, a service, hey? Run Cornians. The old Run Cornians are like, you beauty. We're going mobile, people. So you're going to come uh, up into here. You're going to take a quick right. And you go up there. And you're going to come down this way. Head back that way. Sure are. So let's go. One, two, three. I want you to come out the other side though so give me a waypoint there uh, and after run call add that perfect you can also be blue because you are the uh, run yeah that's right run corn we'll just put air link for this one run corn air link And we'll get you a couple of buses. Uh, we'll use the Schneider PB2 for this one. We'll go with three. We'll set you on Runcorn. Runcorn. Yeah, like. Let me have a look at those. Oh, that's brilliant. Runcorn Airlink. How are you, Cog? Intermodel. Air transit, that's not a bad one. Intermodel? That's not a, that's not bad. 
we might do that. We might we might do that when we add more airports in for like because I want to put it. I think I want to get an airport down here for these guys, and um, put another one up for maybe we can get people. Depends because I'll have I'll have two big airports on the map. I'll do one up here I think, and one over this corner. So they've got a fair distance to fly still, or we give Hankston a big airport. And Huntsman. No, I don't know. The map's not quite big enough for air ports, really. It's not a very big, uh, it's not a very big map. All right. Are we, are we going to hit this mountain when we come in? Maybe not. Let's call this, um... Passenger flight. Um, two, uh, two, one, uh, passenger flight. Two, one, seven. Um, run to Berg. Passenger flight two, one, seven, run to Berg. Make it happen. Make it happen. Everyone, get on board the junker. We're going for a flight. <laughs> Let's just start with one. Set it on passenger flight 217, run corn to Burger Hill. Oh, everyone, chat, get on board. If we can fit 14 of us on there. <laughs> Surely we can fit four. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, Dan. Dan, that's you. That's you on holidays shortly. <laughs> Look at these two fellas in here. <laughs> All that money for three packs. <laughs> what? 78 million it cost us to put this together for three people. <laughs> Who's the, who's the old brothers in here? The old Mo brothers. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Mo brothers. I hope you're comfortable back there with the goats, the cargo, and the grain. Uh, please enjoy your <laughs> in-flight entertainment of two goats together. <laughs> These are your captains, Bill and Ben, the moustache men. <laughs> we hope you enjoy your... Oh, wait, D366. Change it. Welcome to passenger flight D366. I know that's the name of the plane, but I'm going with D366 for it. Welcome to passenger flight Delta 366, run corn to Burger Hill. Uh... <sighs> this is your... <laughs> What's the in-flight meal? You just gotta chew on a bit of grain. <laughs> and we have liftoff. Oh dear. Oh dear. Beef jerky. <laughs> Beef jerky and rations, okay? Classic. Absolute classic. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll be getting an in-flight tour on your way to Runcorn. It's a cloudy and overcast day here on the map. Uh, with slight west to south to north to easterly winds. Sea breeze at a cool temperature today. Should be a fairly bumpy ride. Expect a lot of turbulence. We hope you enjoy <laughs> in flight meal. Uh, the trolley will be around shortly. <laughs> Today we'll be serving beef jerky and uh, whatever else is back there. 
<laughs> a bit foggy for life. We appear to be running out of fuel, so we really hope we make it, as this is our first voyage we've ever done, and we didn't know how much fuel we needed or how much weight uh, a full tank would be and if we would crash. Enjoy the in-flight entertainment. I'm your captain, Bill and Ben, the moustache men. Go jerky. <laughs> Please mind the two goats. Don't, please don't make eye contact with the two goats back there. We should be arriving at Runcorn in approximately three years. <laughs> yeah, Johnny says he thinks the in-flight movie's Top Gun. <laughs> Whoa. Pilot turns around. <laughs> Who are you talking to? There's no passengers. <laughs> yeah, Dan, but there's two goats, okay? Goats have feelings too. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, we didn't wait for the people to get on. We just took off. The trams were delayed, okay? Wait, don't delay the flight, okay? The flight cannot be delayed. We're cruising at a uh, at a rapid 87 miles an hour. <laughs> please, please, please hold on. Please hold on to each other as we're banking for a turn. <laughs> and we have no seatbelts. This is your captain speaking. We have good news and bad news. The good news is we'll be landing immediately. The bad news is we're crash landing. Oh, exotic <laughs> Wait, wait. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> Oh. oh, it's too fun. And this, Stephen, is why I love live streaming over video recording sometimes. Where else? Oh. Chat, you guys are on point today and I'm loving it. I wonder if they'll be here. There's no people waiting. There's no one down here. Wait, there's someone! Wait for that person! No! Turn this thing around! Turn this boat around, there's a couple of people! Wait, just do, just do a lap of the airport! <laughs> I've heard some... Don't take off! The, pe the people at the airport, the people at the airport, oh my god, the people at the airport are like, uh, are we really getting on that? <laughs> Wait, we can go back with a full load here. We could, we could get almost, almost a full load, okay, almost. We've got two people. Wait, there's more people. Hold that, hold the plane. Okay. Look at these people. Hey, hey, we're gonna need more planes. I tell you what, we're gonna need more planes. How many are waiting here? We got two waiting here. Brilliant. Get me, <laughs> buy me another plane, okay? We've just doubled our capacity, mind you. Uh, we better just see how these people are going down here. And we're off with the full load. Stop it. Let's see how much it makes. 
Let's see. I thought there was someone at the door. Just a green screen. Right, let's see how much this thing makes. Yeah, that was classic. That was classic exotic. Also, welcome, friendo. Hello, how are you? Come on, little plane. We're going to call this one Shirley. Shirley, you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I love that so much. We'll call this one Shirley. That's not what I wanted to do. Geez, I tell you what, it comes in low for a banking turn, that's for sure. Oh, man. That didn't sound healthy. All right, this will be interesting to see how much this makes. <laughs> Three people. <laughs> Oh, 50, it's been brilliant. Thanks, for the. Did you get your download done? I hope you did. And thanks for hanging out. Absolutely brilliant. Like I said, we're going to be doing some more Twitch stuff, so it's going to be more conducive to timings for people in the UK. Hey, 41,000. That's rubbish. But it's, uh, look, I think... If it goes back and forth with three at a time, it'll be fine. You know, we might end up with a lot of people down here. And there's still two waiting there. How many people we got waiting at uh, Runcorn? This plane's... Uh... Oh, we've already got eight here. We're going to need more planes. Okay, speed this up quick because I want to just see if you actually do end up making a bit of a profit. Okay, well, that one's in profit. That one's not. Are they going to... <laughs> no, Johnny, I've been weeding today. I've actually been good. I've actually been weeding a lot. This one's still positive. This one's only 800 bucks in the neg. It might just be the perfect distance for these little planes. Okay, both of them are in the negative, but not by too much. Yeah, okay. I think these will make money. I think we could get another plane. Or two. This is the popular service. How many have we still got here? Two. I think we'll hold out. We might get another couple, but we'll just go. We'll check it for a while. Uh, right, so a couple of the things. We've got a lot of... Um, so next time out, we might spend a bit of time doing here... What we did over here last time and we'll just get our money back up so putting in our uh, putting in our freight hub that we started doing with the construction sites and so forth uh, i might get the construction vehicles for next time too the farm work that we did down here has come up an absolute treat 
So I've been really happy with all of this uh, going forward. Absolutely really happy. Nice new combine in uh, 1923 also, by the way. So that's that's really not a thing. But uh, yeah, uh, pretty happy with how the farm's coming along. Uh, it'll be nice for some of these track rides coming through here. Yeah, I think that'll be really nice. Uh, and that's probably about that. Like, we can take a ride through here like this. Uh, what do you think, team? Good day. Thank you so much for hanging out. As I said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for hanging out today. I've had an absolute blast as always. I love streaming Transport Fever 2 with you guys. It's an absolute laugh, and you guys um, bring so much more to the table. I will be doing some more testing for Twitch and YouTube tonight with the multi-stream integration stuff. So if you're around and, you, and you're and you bored, come and say hello and hang out. Um, yeah, we'll be doing some uh, live stream and testing tonight uh, because I'm trying to integrate. That's tonight my time. That's in the morning your guys' time. So And probably midday for UK, Europe sort of areas. So uh, yeah, we'll be doing that. Um, yeah. Stay safe, stay glued to your screen for plenty more action. And we'll be back tomorrow with some more fun and games. We've got lots of multiplayer gaming coming this week um, with um, uh, BC, Amy, and Neon as well. So that should be a bit of fun also. I'm going to chat to them about what days are going to suit them uh, this week for that. And also uh, plenty of games coming. Stay safe, stay glued to your screen. Get out of here. Right, he's almost hit that car.